but it's 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 a it's strange because the people on love and hip hop out here are kind of some real niggas. No, you don't think so? Musically, like yeah, Who, who's who's one. on this love and hip hop here? Shane Eagle. How y'all feel? I've never listened to Shane Eagle, so ever. I don't have a Shane Eagle. I, I, I've I heard think, I've heard his songs like people play. It, I think Shane Eagle but, is cool, bro. Yeah, but I think no he's sense. he's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay Marley. Hey man. What? <laughs> okay, never mind. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chapping it with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire, the Lord of the every, the Lord of the jig, <laughs> the Lord of doing it, live, doing it, getting it high, live. The Lord of That's the right. real. That's right. The Lord of <laughs> everything. The entire. <laughs> <laughs> And I got my niggas in the cut with me. Uh, so what's the group introduction now? There uh, is no group right now. <laughs> so let's make some noise <laughs> out here on Chopping It. My nigga X Global. Yes, sir. My nigga Echo. Echo the Beast. And my nigga Melo who will step in after he comes in from the call. <laughs> <laughs> The invincible man. What a <laughs> gents. What's oh, poppin', niggas? Yeah, he's on a, an important call. Yeah, it's right a family now. call, actually. He had to hold it down. Uh, we discussed it, and the vote was Shade Game On. What so, about me, though? Shade Game On. Yeah, get in there. Get in your bag, actually. Get, get in see. your bag. Yeah, because now you're the only... Am I the only one? Does it look right? Face, nigga. Does it look right, or Put your I? mic down a little. Just so they can peep you out there. So they know that Does it look right or should I take it off? There we go. That you're still alive. You, be honest. You're in the cut like that. Yeah, no. Really? Yeah, you're in okay, the cut. All right, cool. You're in the cut. Stay <laughs> <laughs> super stay away. No, yeah. but I had to, you know. You had to let them see you. Yeah, first, before yeah. all of this. Let them know that you're, you're, coming you're here to be for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming straight. <laughs> I'm not coming funny. How you niggas feel? Uh, we chilling, bro. Chilling like villains, man. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, oh, it's been a bro. It's been a minute, it's been a bro. Minute. No cap. I only see you niggas on the net. On the net, man. It's been like last time I saw you, bro, was like that's how we pulled up to your crib out there at in Paul, the north side. Yeah, we in Fleezy. No, no. Oh no, at the crib. Yeah. yeah, by the crib in in, in the north side. At the crib. Yeah, I was bro. Making sessions at the crib. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, that was the last time we actually shit, locked that's in. That's a bro. fact. My nigga. You niggas. Oh yeah, with with uh. With Fleas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you niggas were still cribbing on that side. Yeah, we were that side, bro. Like right behind yeah, me. Yeah, no okay, cap, no cap, bro. Facts. No cap. Yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure, bro. That's uh, twenty, twenty one maybe. Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably because we had came from that uh Hennessy was it the Hennessy shootout. Oh yeah, we were coming from one of those uh lockdown yeah, them, house party thing, actually. Yeah. And Slick had brought us all out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that that's the last where time. we all linked up and uh -huh. then we were and all like, yo. Let's take it back to yeah. the crazy yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I think for it. me it was way longer than that. Yeah, you weren't there that day, then. <laughs> nah, he wasn't there. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. What, what? I think for me... Oh, yeah, you don't have a record with Slick, I guess. Is that why he wasn't there? Um, um No, but... Oh, yeah, because you don't either. I yeah. have a record. Nah, I have a you record have a with, record with, with yeah. him. Oh, okay, but I, I don't. Have a with Slick. I think the last time I saw you was at Boris. Yeah. Yeah, it was that When long. we did, when we made for the level... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. That was a lot of sound for sure for mm. me. Yeah, it was still all of y'all, man. Cause yeah. it was like yeah. it was dirty, y'all. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it wasn't was dirty, there. nigga. Come on, it was gang, gang, <laughs> but it wasn't bro. dirty, b. It was Yo, like dirty niggas. Believe I that. I can count how many <sighs> was. Dirty niggas, bro. Nah, it was like probably nine, eight, five, niggas. six. Yo. 
30 nah. niggas, man. <laughs> nah, I wasn't 30. He's lying. I'm fucking around, man. Who was there that day? It was, it was myself, yeah. Echo, uh, Air Reese. Uh, I think Ghost as well. Ghost was there, yeah, Flex. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, I don't know who else. Matt was matched there? Because I know Flame wasn't there. Flame was doing uh, D&D. Yeah, Flame wasn't there. Yeah, man. Flame was doing Do Not Disturb. So I know he wasn't there. Was, was Mash there? I'm I don't know if Mash when, was there. So when I had Mash here on chopping it, I think he kind of said he was there. Yeah, he probably then was. Then he probably was there. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know geeky. if he directly said he was there, but yeah. he spoke on that session. Nah, was so I was like, there. oh shit, Mash was there. Because I always wondered, oh, yo, Gonja was Mash there. Yeah. Yeah, it was like five, six of us. And then my E was there. And then you were there. Yeah. And then my E was there that day. My E was there, yeah. though. <laughs> That's fire. That's I, fire. I yeah. yeah, my E came and gave us like yeah, that shout out. crib was always. Uh, yeah. It was going down 24 7. 24 7. 24 like, 7, dogs. From Chubby. Nigerian artists to South African, Bro, from hip hop to, to pop, gom to. Hey. And also pop. at that time, we were going crazy though at that time. Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah, because uh, I think Pori was making, what was that tape? What that tape ended up being? I think it was a. Uh, a black boy tape or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Put your niggas on that. Yeah, yeah. I remember he called Reese. It's like yo, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Once him on a thing, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You niggas was in the cut. And then we pulled out. Niggas yeah. were in the cut on the stand yeah. to get yeah. to the beer. Uh, yeah. all, all the time, bro. Yeah. I thought I was flying. I don't lie. What happened nah, to them joints? That was a fire night. That was a fire night. What night. happened to them joints? After, I, I remember it dropped, but yeah. what happened after? I don't know. Them you weren't my joints. But you out there. <laughs> them weren't my joints. Okay, okay. I was, right. I was checking for my joints. All right. Yeah, so where do we start the story? Sure. Where do we start it? Yeah. So with you, I think you came up on your dancer nigga shit, no? I was dancing with this nigga, right? This nigga hey. was on his dancer nigga shit too? Yeah, what? We, was, we was in the same dance crew. <laughs> I was dancing with this nigga yeah. right here. So I basically met this nigga in like, what, grade seven, grade eight? Like, we're still youngings. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. You niggas go back like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. So fire. so myself and him, uh, we were in a, in, a, in, a, in a dance crew called Perplexed. Uh -huh. Right, so we were dancing at that time, dancing at that time. That's a bit of an extravagant name for a dance crew. <laughs> oh no, but we were going crazy. And then okay. after that, we went to Twitch. And then from Twitch, that's when we went to Las Vegas. Oh, so okay. me and this nigga yeah, represented SA in Las Vegas. Facts. With who? Just With, the two of you? No, no, no. no, no. It, it, like... it was Twitch. It was like the five yeah. of us. It was six of us. Six of us, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, so we all went to America together. It was first through London and then America and then yeah, we competed in America. We came 24th. That's fire. When was this? 2009. 10, 2009, 10. we been booming before Instagram was no. even like... Yeah, yeah, yeah 2009, yeah. bro. <laughs> was yeah. it 2009? 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah. So That's fire. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember when I got to Joburg... The dance, the dance culture was on it fire. It was lady. It was crazy. That was, it was it was, lady. It was... It was low key. Okay, no, I can't say more on fire than the than the music because no, but I it was crazy. Was, it, but it, it was, but it, that it was, was it had its own hype. It, yeah, it, it did, but yeah. that also was around the time uh, the layers in them were. Yeah, for sure, was, for so, sure. But for that sure. was the most fire. I feel shit. It. But no, but can I tell you what's crazy though? Yeah. You see this whole thing being documented of like tweezies and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. we used to fill up million uh, million more like that. Yeah, Before, that's like, fire. crazy. That's fire and everything. But I'm just saying, Josie was gone bonkers. So we can't say Tippy the toes dance days. shit. Yeah, we can't say yeah, the Tippy dance shit. Yeah, Tippy Even toes the bro. Josie shit before his solo shit, they were going crazy. Tippy toes was we lit. can't say the dance shit was going more crazy than that. But it was... It was uh, it in yeah. Joburg. Yeah. I in think Joburg. it could have been here on the same level, bro. In Joburg. I mean, Josie went back in the day... Joburg. You know, we had all these dance competitions that would sell out, bro. Masters of yeah. Rhythm, Strictly Hip Hop. Like, that shit, man, it was, it was sell out all the time, bro. Like, that shit was Straight. big, man. I'm just saying it wasn't nas nationwide. That's all I'm saying. Okay. We try to make it nationwide, though. Yeah. But it just wasn't. I hear that. I feel it. <laughs> I yeah. Feel, yeah. Nah, say so, less, bro. You so niggas are doing the Twitch shit. Yeah, so we... Oh, nine, yeah, y'all. And then from there, we yeah. like, you know what? Let's go into the music side of things because we can... Wait, could hold up. Let's talk about you niggas in in thing. 
In where? In the States. Oh. You just go skip right through that? I already told you. We went to the States. We got there, right? We touched down in New York. We spent a few hours in New York. From there, we went to Las Vegas. Mm. So we stayed in Las Vegas That's for like... Fire. Yeah, we stayed in Las Vegas for like two, three weeks. So we went there before... Two, three weeks? Yeah, we went there before That's everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we met the nigga who produced... Uh, what's that dance movie that everybody uh, that everybody loves? What? Mm, you got served. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Classic. We, yes. Yeah, we met them niggas that produced that show. That's and, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, we, the dance culture was going... Interna- you see, internationally, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, yeah. bro. Because I crazy, also was on bro. my dancing shit around that time. But you know what was crazy? When we were in America, people yeah. were stopping us thinking we day 26 uh, P. Diddy's group. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> look like you could be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, Facts. bro. Come on, yeah, man. No, bro. And, I, and you, know what, you know what I did in America? So yeah. I bought a part of phone, right? So when yeah. I bought a part of phone... American Hunts thought I was like a king's son out here. So it was crazy. Oh, they you, like, <laughs> yeah, because the meal is a dollar out there. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? So shit is very cheap. So when me and this nigga got there, we were just shopping. So we had bags in the mall. So now niggas are thinking, yo, these niggas must be stars. But yeah. we were just regular guys. That's fire. Yeah. But like two, three weeks in like LA? No, Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, in Las Vegas? Las Vegas. In LA. the city of... Yeah, city of sin, man. Yeah, city of sin. What did you niggas get up to out there? Any wild shit or you niggas <laughs> were too young? I was about to say, like, we were fairly young. young. Like, we were 16, you feel of me? Course, like, yeah. we were 16. And, like, we were pretty much, like, rehearsing throughout the whole day because we yeah, were the there for a dance shit competition. Was serious. So, yeah, I think, I think the, the competition right. was, like, a week. You feel me? Mm. So we came like a week before and then we left a week after. Just, just so we stay longer. Yeah. But obviously there were, there were some crazy you moments. Niggas were just but... locked in though yeah. on yeah, the yeah, dancing. Because yeah. yeah. I guess the composition obviously is a big deal to you too. Yeah, and, and don't forget you're competing with like over 100 countries. That's crazy. So that show was that big a deal. Yeah, so you yeah. niggas were like living the like step up life, the real <laughs> life, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. living your dream with that <laughs> yeah. shit. Uh, we were versing the the people we used to see on TV, on TV the Jabberwockies, the like everybody, know, like, yeah. if, oh, for shit, real, that's bro. fire. <laughs> no cap, that's like no that's a nigga's dream come true. Yeah, yeah. we were at that. <laughs> Periodics, uh, American, I mean Filipino all stars. Those are guys that we would see on America's Best Dance Crew type yeah. shit. Yeah, and we were same. We were basically in the same competition as them. We were competing with them. With them, so yeah. it's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That means you niggas have lived two dreams in this one lifetime. Because <laughs> nah, you yet. lived the rapper dream too. But the rapper dream is not entirely done yet. So yes, but you've lived it. Is what I'm saying. Like yeah, it came yeah. true for sure. Yes, yeah. it did. It did. It like did. the dancing shit came true. And I feel like that's why a lot of pressure is put on us because I feel like if we can get that far in dancing. Why can't we get that fun music? Oh, you feel that pressure on yourself? Yo, B. I understand that. It's yeah, crazy. Once you've succeeded on a certain level, anything else that you yeah, do, you Yeah, because we came like... out 24th, bro. Out of, a, yeah. out of over 100 countries, we were number 24. That's fire. Yeah. So we really tried, bro. Like, it was really mm. hard. And the dancer lifestyle out here, you know, as I'm sure, was going crazy with the mommies and all that. <laughs> Man, it was Bad, Keep bro. it a that, bean. That arrow was bad, bro. Keep like, it a bean. no cap. Like, oh, we was out there ducking them. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, like, bro. We was ducking like, them girls, bro. Like, like bro. Ducking it. Like, every, everywhere you go, bro. Just, hey. they, there was a point we would be, with, like, we would be with our parents at events. Yeah. They did not care whether your mom is next to you. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. mommy's hollering, right? Echo's mom is right here. They're hollering for numbers. Right in front of mommy, like yeah. I'm like, yo, here's mama. Uh, you-, you know, you know, crazy. <laughs> we probably talking some light work, bro, compared to you, bro. Like you look, what, you listening to shit? us, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, come nah, on, man. You don't want to hear. Come on, you don't want to hear me talk <laughs> that, that you know, shit. That Lord, Lord, the Lord of everything, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, but also the thing is, I'm also saying that because I, I know that life too. I kind of had a glimpse. Of, I never took it as far as as seriously as getting into crews and whatever. But like in high school, like during break, if niggas are busting up, I'd be 
You be just in the to mix. make them go crazy. Yeah, yeah that's and, right. That's right. I and like it. the name and it moved. There were shows that we did, you know. It yeah, was, for sure. Uh, so I got a taste I never knew of... You danced, I never knew you were dancing. That's why I could easily just... On oh, the cash time the, shit. Oh, that's why it's yeah, that yeah, easy. Yeah, it's like... out there maneuvering. Oh, yeah. Now it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because I was... I'm from that world. Like, I, I was, it, nah, nah, I was sense, in there. Yeah. I, really, so, I just thought you had jig. Like, I'm like, this nigga I fly. I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. I, I have that too. I, <laughs> the Lord of it, fact. I did. I feel that. I feel but that. yeah, I, I lived it a, a little. Not a, a lot, actually. Because it's like, Come on, in the Chris Brown era, I'm light skin, I'm pretty. <laughs> what was what I'm Chris, gonna do? And it was actually a Chris Brown era, no cap. Exactly. Yeah, like that sure. was the hottest nigga on earth. <laughs> like no on cap. planet no cap. Earth. <laughs> At like, a point, that guy was Goku, man. Yeah, and it's cool. like a lot. if I can get away with sliding right into that bag. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Trust what do we you remember doing? the time you actually came to SA? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes I'm did. sure y'all met with him and nah, shit. No, 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 we didn't. You didn't? Time, you went to one of the crews that no. day? No. That's fine, because I, the girl I dated in 09 was like a dancer girl. She was also in the crews and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was one of the girls. She had a pick with him. She was one of the oh, crews oh. that that actually met I him. I just when saw he that nigga on Generations. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with side for him. Yeah, that was Shout out to side for him. Shout out side for Shout out side for real. Yeah, for real. For, for real, real. The long way. The legendary stuff, bro. No cap. That's fire. It's legendary. Legendary. Yeah, that's all I saw him on TV and that was about it. Yeah. Yeah, that was fire. Yeah, the dance shit was crazy. No crazy. cap, bro. No cap, bro. I had its era, bro. You the know? craziest. Yeah. I had its era. Wasn't like, it the it was... BBM era as well? When niggas had yeah, Blackberry? Yeah, BBM facts. and shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Facts. But 09, 2010, it was fading out. 09? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 09, yeah, 09 2010, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was fading yeah, no out. Cap, it no was, wasn't yeah. as on fire. No cap, no yeah. cap bro. 2011... Is that's when, when the rap shit that's was. When I started rapping, bro. Yeah. Oh, but we were so crazy. I started actually. rapping in grade eleven. Like I gave up dancing in grade, like late grade ten. Like from grade eleven, that's when I was like, you know what? Screw this yeah. shit. I'm doing the music. Like this, the next wave. Yeah, this is the next one for sure. Yeah, but I remember that. Yeah. I had to drag him to studios in the hood. We used to cross <laughs> rivers. Kosovo. You remember when we used to go up there to a Yeah, I used to come to this house, like, but like, like that was, was like crazy. on weekends and shit. Because <laughs> was, I had school during the week. So it was crazy. I pull up on him on weekends and then there was like this one homie and he's actually. Um he just said, out of side of Creative uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, of sauce, you feel me? So Hey, we used to walk out there, man. We used like, to cross bro, those like little jungles, rivers, bro. Rivers, <laughs> just know, to hit the stew. Do yeah. all that and then go out there and make a thin one. I was, that's when I basically like started saying, man, this shit is fun. Yeah. And then yeah. we started taking it seriously from there. I, I saw them trying to question your social credibility out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see? Bro, yeah. I think out of all my friends uh, like that I've ever had in my whole life, he's been the only person that slipped out there. Like, he knows Turtles Oh, so Turtle 2 Turtle 2, yeah Turtle, yeah. Turtle's another friend of ours Yeah, yeah. Melo been there too Has he slept there though? Nah Yeah, he's just been but there he's been there Yeah, he's been there So it's probably like three niggas Sorry, yeah. correction, right? Yeah. Out of my whole life Yeah Right? So the only people that can confirm That this nigga is from the hood Cause think people think I'm just a Brad, bro. They be just think I'm from you the come birds. Off like what? Nah, <laughs> how? Based on what? Based you on got, what? You got the same shit I had. That smashes. That shit. That just you know you got the the light skin nigga, the yellow bone shit, the pretty shit, the the girls hey, like you, you where, shit, where and you then from, niggas just come off and say are you they from, assume that. Wait, where, oh, where are you from? Durban, bro? Yeah, I'm from KZN. Oh, where in the KZN, bro? You uh, is that Newcastle. the hood? Is that a hood? I didn't live in the hood in Newcastle. Okay. But I'm from, like, as a kid, from where my grandmoms is from yeah. is a Pongola. That's even deep, deep case. That's Bundus. You feel I'm me? from the dirt. Yeah, my grandma's my house is 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 in Pele. Like it's you don't you, yeah. you don't look like you you, yeah. you you come from there, bro. I could tell exactly. you the same shit. Yeah. You feel me? So Fair. that's just how people gonna look at it, bro. bro. You, I and mean, I, you know, my hood, bro, man. It's so dangerous. It's not even funny. Us, this nigga, back in the day, there was this guy called Scorpio, right? He would go play Russian roulette in the salon. And if the bullet pops you, it pops you. What? No cap. Violent. No cap. And I knew the kid. You know mm. what I'm saying? That it happened to. Yeah. But Shit. that's my hood. When I took Krish uh, two, three years ago, we had a gig out there. They popped the nigga at the same gig I was performing at. 
That's that's crazy. Damn. <laughs> bro, for real, three bullets down. Boo. We just saw people running towards us. We like, hey, we that booming. Can't they know? <laughs> <laughs> Someone just got popped. Somebody just got yeah, slept. Bro. Like that hood is really scary, but I never really was a nigga to be around, walking around, all that. Yeah, yeah. I would just be in the crib with this nigga, go to studio and go to school. Yeah. And now I had to fight that whole thing of, hey, you a cheese boy, because now it's back in the day and I'm going to a private school. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You fair, feel what fair, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when you walk out the Which street, everybody is think boy material. No, but when you <laughs> when you walk out the street, they ask you for two bucks. Now you gotta you gotta stand up and now be a nigga. Yeah, yeah. And that's how Azar taught me to be like hood like and like be a hood nigga yeah, of course, and yeah. not just be like a brat that everybody thinks I am. It's just yeah. crazy for me. It, I feel it, you. I'm so hood, it's not funny. I feel you. <laughs> I, feel I eat pop. <laughs> I eat pop more than anybody I know. I probably eat pop more than all of you niggas here. Every day of my life. I don't I mean, fuck with McDee's. No, yeah, I, I swear to God, you. I don't fuck with McDee's. I don't fuck with none of that. None nah, of that. That's some real shit. Yeah, niggas is real niggas. Niggas, nah, are, niggas are from the, the clot of, of, of what? Of real niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can, like, you can I, tell. No, no, no. Let me tell you. I, when I came in a game, I didn't speak about my story in the hood. So I got to see all the niggas that claimed to be hood, but weren't really real. Because a lot of niggas will shake your hand, but they talk shit behind your back. And I know. I know that you're talking There's shit. Order that. Yeah. So There's I pull up on you like, yo, my guy, I hear you got a problem. I'm expecting you to be real because you say so you from the hood. It. Yeah, stand on business. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's shocking yeah. when it comes from me because you're not expecting that. Yeah, facts. I think it was similar with me because uh, there was a there was a time where I went to an era where I was just putting hands on niggas. I was tired. <laughs> I was tired of the disrespect. <laughs> I was tired of the disrespect. <laughs> so, but you too. You so had that era was, now where you were just going. It was like the that. Punch game. Hey, man. Where it's like, oh, sh- I didn't expect this nigga to pull up like that. Yeah. And it's like, yo, now nah, we gonna we gonna go. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm, and it's cause of that. It's cause of that so. shit. It's cause of that. But yeah. So, you, weren't you in Swaziland with us out there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, what year was that? That was probably like 2015, 14. Dog, you know it's so crazy. I remember. Oh man, were you there when uh, Questa was there and Pro Kid? I can't remember. Uh, Cause I there was yeah I was in Swaziland and uh, Questa was there, uh, I think Pro Kid as well was there and then they were in my room niggas were in my room as well I remember that day when the reps were also there yeah weren't you there with the reps I was were you a rep at the time <laughs> yeah I was yeah so why didn't you mention that so you became a rep at some point yeah I became a rep at some point like they reached out actually and it was yeah. me and this nigga and this nigga was like what. I'm done with this dancing thing. I'm going to stick to music. Yeah. Right? That's when people had started leaving the reps and they started having drama and shit. Now. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah, and then yeah. I went to Then they reps. were recruiting. It was when we were, we were terror at the time. Yeah. yeah. Remember? And they dropped me off actually at the reps mansion. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. He dropped me off and then I was, I was a rep for a young period. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, the niggas didn't want to put me on TV too much because I had, like, mummies were going crazy. Yeah, making a shake. Yeah, yeah, mummies were going crazy. <laughs> so I would, ha- I would have that extra T- was five seconds out. Yeah. Like, but it was facts, I was though. about to ask if you appeared on the thing, and you did, yeah. I, I appeared like Kidley. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, like, a, a serious role at all. You weren't one of the kids that uh, TJ put hands on, yeah? Uh-uh, nah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was Tato and Kia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Kia, yeah, 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 yeah fair. Yeah, 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 R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P., man. But Tato, Tato, Tato was that nigga that got hands. Oh, he was. <laughs> yeah, it was I'm Tato. So, I'm so cool with him right now. I'm so cool with him right now. I go back and forth with him on Twitter too whenever. Yeah, that's my nigga. Yeah, for sure. He's the boy. But yeah, I was in Ripson, but then that also ended very fast. <coughs> yeah. What happened with them? Nah, I just chose to focus on music from there. Yeah. Straight up, like full time. Because I realized that if you're on a reality show and you're trying to make music, it never works out. I don't care who yeah, you are. Yeah, facts, facts. I don't really care who Especially you are. Especially back then. I guess it's better now. It's not better now. What? I mean, How is, okay, explain S-A to us. Explain. Love and Hip Hop, they doing it now. It's a love and hip hop. Yeah. Explain to us how it's better. No, I'm saying it's more acceptable. Like how? the niggas are doing it. How is it acceptable? Because I can tell you what I was reading online. 
<laughs> what you mean? I can tell you what I was reading online, so tell me how it's acceptable in your end right now in time. I'm seeing niggas on Love and Hip Hop and they still active musically is what I'm saying. Is the music booming? What do you... you what? Do they have motion <laughs> with the music? Are you saying is So what you saying? I'm saying like, are they able to be a reality show star? Mm. And a musician, a, a, a musical superstar at the same time is what I'm asking you. I mean, I don't, I can't answer that because they just got off their first. Uh, what did J. Cole season? say about this reality show? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did J. Cole what did say? What did J. Cole say about this reality show business? Yeah. I saw people uh, quoting them, them type quotes out there. Did yeah. that man lie about the people he spoke about? No, he didn't. If you look where they're at right now. Yeah, but it's 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 a it's strange because the people on love and hip hop out here are kind of some real niggas. No, you don't think so? Musically, like Young as who's, a real who's one. on this love and hip hop here? Young as one there. Yeah. Young chief. Yeah. Okay. Young a fire. He's not he's solid. Young yeah, a fire. Young a fire. fire. Shane Eagle. How y'all feel? I've never listened to Shane Eagle. So ever. <laughs> I don't have a Shane Eagle. I, I, I've I heard. Think... I've heard his songs like. People play. I think Shane Eagle but, is cool, bro. Yeah, but I think no he's, he's yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. But I've never, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, I jam Shane. Yeah. Hey, cool. You jam him? You tap in? Damn, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Keep I it a like, bean out there. I think he's dope, right? Yeah, like, he's no dope. Care, but I don't have him like in my Apple, in my, in my Apple music player. I feel you. Yeah. yeah. But you know he's dope. Who else is out there? Oh, the Lairs, I guess he's. Uh, that's, yeah, OG. that's the OG. Yeah, that's the OG. What? <laughs> Also, oh, so he said he retired, right? Nah, nah he said he's he back. said he retired, but yeah, but I'm but just saying him. that's what he said. But yeah, he, he's gonna he be back. I mean, he's gonna be back. Yeah, he's goat. We need him. Yeah, we need fuck Liz. Yeah, what? Fuck yeah. The game ain't shit without the Liz. No cap. You, yeah. you know, like me and Flame always go back and forth playing his old jams as well. Yeah. And yeah, that man is fire. Legendary. Yeah. Legendary. We need you on chopping it, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> we need you. Uh, who else is out there uh, on loving hip hop out there, Gunj? Um, oh, Gigi Cool. Gigi Gigi's, Fire. Gigi Fire. Gigi's, Gigi's fire. out there. Um, Jay Marty. <laughs> hey, man. What? <laughs> Why niggas ain't say nothing? <laughs> There's the none f- to say, bro. There's none to say at all. Oh, one day y'all had beef with that nigga, then? I don't even no, know that nigga. Have, no, I don't. Yeah, I, don't I don't know that know nigga. That I don't have like beef that. with that nigga. <laughs> I've never met that nigga. Yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> like what J Marley is. Okay, say. but musically, never heard a jam. Never nah. really fucked with nothing. Nah. Not at all. Nah. Just, just never tapped in. Never nah. tapped in. Bro. Ever, 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 nah. ever. All right. Uh, who else is on there? Speedster's on oh, there. Oh, that's, that's big dope. homie. I, I fuck with Speedster. Yeah. Speedster yeah. dope. Speedster's an OG dope. now, ne? Yeah. He can get that title, ne? <laughs> really? Yeah. Too soon, maybe? He looks I young, mean, he's, man. I mean, he's got 10 years in under his belt. Yeah. I mean, he is young because he started young. He's definitely young. Yeah. I'm not saying he's an old... I'm not saying he's an old man. For sure. I'm saying he's an OG in the game. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, he's got, yeah, his, yeah. got his stripes. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's paid his that. dues. His, I feel that. Yeah, for sure. He's bro. fully. I see Melo chilling over there. Where is he? Where is he at? Right there. Is your Melo? Pull up. Oh, no. Nah, I feel that, though. Dope. I feel that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, I feel yeah, that. I feel it. that. Let him do his thing. Uh, let him do his thing. I see he's still at it. Um, you who, right, though? Who else is on there? All right. Oh, Fifi Cooper? FIFA, hey. FIFA, 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 FIFA. We've been cool FIFA since way back. Yeah. Yeah, she dope. But you're saying she's going crazy right now? Or musically. Oh, musically? Because that's what you were saying. Oh, yeah. Musically, I, I haven't heard anything from her in a minute. Yeah. But then, but then, uh, would you know anything, Eka, right now? Have you heard anything recent right now from her? Uh, FIFA, Who else Cooper. is on there? Nah, I ain't heard nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a couple people out there. Yeah. So you're saying they're not going to be able to... I'm saying it's harder yeah. to try bounce back from being a reality show star mm. to being a musician. They gonna like have a, some trouble. Yeah, it just come, like it just doesn't look like a a, 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 a decision I would take. 
Yeah. If they had to hit me up right now, they're like, yo, X, we need you on Big Brother. Oh, X is all superstar, like how I was on Big Brother back in the day. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. You on Big Brother? Yeah, I want 100,000 and I went home. Shit, when was that? Bro, what if one goes, y'all was offered 100K on stage? The mommy came wanted it. It was 50. It was, no, it was 100 because it's, it's 50 50, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to split but Yeah, I just split it with her. Yeah. So the shorty wants the money, and I'm like, I don't want this money. I want to go back in the house. So we're being offered 100,000 to go oh, home. Oh, to step. Yes. Yeah. If you decline the 100K, you're going back inside. Mm. So I was like, I'm declining this money. I had my niggas back at home, making them on back at home, making sure we win that thing. Ready to SMS like crazy at that yeah. time. I had left the niggas at the house. Yeah. You know, it was me, I couldn't mill at the time living together yeah. when I went there. So yeah, I was off with that. What year was this? Uh, 2015, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Had, Were you already dropping music? Yeah, bro. I've been I dropping music also, since. Yeah. Don't forget, we've been dropping. Don't forget, after dancing, me and this nigga started go went straight into music and we were being managed by uh, the same lady who was also being managed by AKA at the time, Ms. B. Tabang, was yeah. also managing us. Yeah, and yeah. that's how we got to meet Keenan. And that's how, yeah, like if you, if, if you, R.I.P. Keenan, by the way. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. for course, sure. Yeah, but yeah, he actually gave us advice while me and this nigga were still young, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I remember you pulled up on me also out there at Raza Studio after the Swaziland shit. You feel me? And you were talking about, yeah, you're trying to get into the music. You feel me? Pulled up in the Porsche. <laughs> you feel yeah. me? I was like, hey, like, pulled up in the Porsche. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, yo, why did a dancer nigga want to rap? <laughs> no, because I, I feel like, bro. But this guy was a rapper before yeah. the dance. They, before, obviously, I just yeah. knew him. I just knew him from a distance. Yeah, yeah I was rapping before, Oh, yeah, before, actually, bro. when we were in... Was that your room we were in? That's and what we I'm were playing me. joints? Yeah. I think All you, you niggas were in my room. That's what yeah. I'm telling you niggas. Pro Kid was there. I spent the whole night with Pro Kid. Shout out Pro. R.I.P. Pro. Yeah, R.I.P. to Pro yeah. also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were playing joints all yes, night. I remember in my room. I was jamming out. And you, <laughs> you played some shit too, man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. then at that time, you guys were like more into the music than I was. Like, yeah, of course, you were we really... were there for music. Well, yeah. yeah. We Yo. were there performing. You, were, you guys were the lords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show, bro. That's crazy, yeah. So, all right. And then, how how does it build from there? Oh, uh, so, shop cool from there. It's me and this nigga. Uh, I was, and actually, uh, Melo, I was staying in Murrayfield in Pretoria East. Okay. So, at that time, Zuchi was my producer. Yeah. So, I had an agreement with Zuchi whereby I pay him monthly, and I go and I record out there. You know, at That's that- fire. Was Zuchi already popping? Yo, bro, Zuchi was popping before us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I as mean, a producer, at the time where yeah, you for were... me to find him, bro, that's why I met Melo. I met Melo at um, Zuchi's spot. Zuchi, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Because yeah. I grew up with him and our other homie, Turtle. Mm. And then I met Melo at Zuchi's spot. And he already had the hooks, the I don't knows at the time. And... No, he was in production going crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. he was still like... He would still direct the music uh, a lot at that time. Yeah. He wasn't just like letting you record whatever you wanted to record. Yeah, but what I'm saying is we didn't know him as a country. He wasn't yeah. like commercial. He wasn't popular. Mm-hmm. He yeah, was you, still... Yeah, you're right. He was still... But he was yeah. still like that nigga. Yeah, Like yeah, for yeah. me to find out about him is because Zushi was that nigga. Yeah. Yeah, so... In PTA. In PTA for yeah. sure, yeah. So I found Zoo After I found Zoo recording, recording, recording. And then from there... But bear in mind, me and this nigga were still making music. Mm. You know? Are you niggas on some duo shit or what? We used to. Yeah. Yeah, we used to have this duo called Superstars where it was me and this guy. <laughs> I... Yeah, and then we were, I think we dropped like two projects together. Yeah. And then we went solo after them two projects. Yeah. Yeah. Fast forward, like we joined the crew and stuff. But it, was, it was back together, basically, the same <laughs> crew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But so, 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 basically how it happened was uh, from Zuchi's, right? I then saw, uh, what's this? I had met already TK and PJ from Benchmark. I had met them already. Like, yeah. right after meeting Zuchi, making music with Zuchi, yeah, fast yeah. forward. How did you meet them? I met them at an event. We can move this chair now so we can bring, or oh, are they fine like that? It's fine, doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. My bad. Sorry. So yeah. where was I, nigga? Before I was really interrupted. How do you, sorry, my bad. I'm terrible. Uh, 
how you oh. met Benchmark. Oh, yeah, I met them at an event in, in, in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at Top Floor. Okay. Like, them niggas were performing out there. So I reached yeah. out to them, met the homies, cool. And then fast forward, I see them niggas are leaving the label. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see the whole scandal online. But at that time, I'm still making music with Zucci. I have yeah. a single with Shelton Forbes already at that time playing on oh, yeah, TV. Yeah. Shelton was on his music. Yeah, yeah Shelton yeah. was Oh, Shelton. yeah, I remember that yeah. joint. I remember that joint. Yeah, he had like I'm a fire video with baddie. that too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, video, Baddie man. was the name yeah. of the joint. <laughs> Luckin' a Baddie was the name of the joint. I had already had that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I remember so, that. so, and then, and then I had, like, I had quite a lot of joints on TV at the time, like three joints. Yeah. At that time, I was really pushing. Yeah. So, cool. I see the whole thing happen. I'm like, oh, sh- sweet. I need to, like, feature the homies. Like, I was like, yo, the they boy's doing fire. Their thing, yeah. Yeah. I was like, Reese is fire. Benchmark, you know what I'm saying? At that time as well. So, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, cool. Let me reach out. So, I reached out uh, to TK. They charged me for the feature. Of course, I paid of course. For the feature. Gotta pay it dues. <laughs> Gotta pay yeah. for the feature. Yeah. So Zuchi sent them the record. What they charge you? What their figure look like? Nah, it wasn't a lot. It was just it wasn't some, a lot. Some it wasn't nice. a lot. They were like, yo, man, you know, you're a homie. Just respectfully. Let's build this relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't Definitely, a lot. Bro. I hear that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a lot. So I paid Definitely. the I paid the figure. It was easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay the figure. I'll pay the figure. Yeah. And bro, and can I tell you, bro, it's never been easy because you know why, right? What? Me and this nigga used to throw parties to fund every single little thing that we used to do. Oh, yeah? Hey. What parties were you niggas throwing? So we were going crazy in the city. In oh, hell. Way, what? You still low key go crazy when I watch your snaps. I'm like, this nigga's living it up. Yeah, nah, this nigga's wild. This nigga is living it up. He's wild. (laughs) Bro, he's been the boy for a while. Mm. Yeah, 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 like 17 summers. Straight up. (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. Talk that shit. I know what that feels like. Who is this guy? Now let him talk his shit. He's lived it. He's earned it. Like, I've earned it. You've earned it too, bro. Hey, man. (laughs) (laughs) For real. Like, me and this guy used to throw parties. Like our buddies, <coughs> our buddies did so well at a point. We also used to even market for homecoming. We'd also push for homecoming. Oh, fire, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we used to push for them as well. Because yeah, one of the guys from homecoming, Neil Moella, was actually our manager back in the day when we okay. were dancing. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we have that relationship and connection with him. Fire. Yeah. Okay, so the niggas charge you up. You get in there. I get in there. <laughs> cool. No, no, no. Um, Zushi. Uh, Laces the hook, I lace the verse. Okay. We sent we sent records. Uh, I sent a benchmark a record with just the hook, yeah. and I sent uh, Aries a record with a hook and a verse. This different records. Yeah. Okay. So one for benchmark. I paid for a benchmark feature. Oh, you, you doubled up that bag. He was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I got you." I'm like, "Okay, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna pay for Let's both of y'all." Yeah, like, I'm like, "I'm not trying to keep it separate, right?" Yeah. Say, cool, fine. After that, I pay the feature. I go to uh. Uh, the boy finishes the record. Yeah. I go to where they used to live in Melville. So the, after the boy left the label, he used to live with his brother. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. It, uh, what's that? West Dean. <laughs> I've been out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been yeah. out there. It's I've... in Melville, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not capping. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah so Thanks. they used to call it Mexico. They used to call it Mexico. Yeah, back in the yeah, day. Sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Damn, I got a sip. Take your time. We out here. <laughs> Take your time. We in, the, we in the cut. So cool. I go out there. When I get there, bro, I'm chilling on the couch because I'm like, you know, I just met the homies. I'm not about to popular niggas. I'm not about to yeah. be like all over the spot. And I'm a very reserved person if I don't know you. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So we chill on the car shop. It's me and Ghost Pipito at that time. He's the one that drove me. If you remember back in the day after the boy left the label, he had some of the picture of him hanging on top of a drop top. White Beamer. I don't no, know if you I'm know. Not, I'm not a stand like uh, that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I fuck with the boy. He's really, he's really the one. But I'm not like... Oh, I feel you. But I'm saying it was that guy who was always yeah, there yeah. helping us. His name is Ghost Pipito. He's helped us a lot as well. Yeah. So cool. He's one of my friends. So fine. He took me out there. Cool. I get to the crib. The boy comes out the room. He's like, yo, you want to hear the record? Mm, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah, for sure. I want to hear the record. Mm. I get inside The record is fire So I'm like Okay cool Listen I'm gonna go Chop up the artwork I gotta hit up Gusta for the PR The boy's like Yo screw all of that PR nonsense yeah. uh, Yo 
Homie's gonna do the all work right now. We can drop this thing right now. Crazy. Okay. So that was That's the how it is. <laughs> so that was the first time. Ben, man, I'm coming from yo. We have to plan this. This roll needs out, a rollout. Yeah, yeah. This needs. I need to holler at the PR people. Yeah. I need to holler at you know. He's like, nah, bro. Don't worry. Let's just do the artwork and drop this thing as it is, and let's see what happens. Okay, then fine. We so that's it. how it starts. That's how it starts. Mm. Then they reach out to me. Then um, uh, TK told me about the crew that they that they've been having. So it was already there. So TWC was already there before. Wait, yo, drop the joint and then I mean, joint is well received, yo. You feel me? Mm. They reach out to the homies. They're like, okay, cool. We got this crew, TWC. Yeah. Fine. So and prior prior that right we were already now starting to talk a lot hang that's a lot that's what I was gonna try and figure out <laughs> what's the timeline like, yeah what's yeah the like gap? now like, we started to hang yeah. a lot so after gigs they would come to my spot in Pretoria if the if the gigs were in Pretoria so okay, we started to yeah, hang yeah. a lot right so yeah, it became boys you yeah. feel me so cool they holler at me ticket hollers at me dog we wrecking crew you wanna join blah 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 I tell what echo about it. I'm like yo the homies are saying they got a squad out there. Yeah. What are you guys saying? Yeah. So we're like, okay, cool, done. I'm down, right? At that time, they're telling yeah. me, cool, wrecking crew. I'm like, shop, I'm down. We go through. Because these nails are on fire too. Reese is scorching hard at the time. Of Reese course. had just dropped that record. Paradise, that is sure. the album. Yeah. He's coming yeah, from yeah. Paradise, He's, the album. Yeah. He's scorching. Yeah, yeah no cap. Yeah. Scorching. No yeah. Cap. And up I, there with MT and them. He's <laughs> one of the new kids scorching. There's yeah, no fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, MT is smoking him at the time, but yeah. he, he was also on fire. But but he was on fire, though. Yeah, but at that time... Paradise, he was... He was but at that Zimbali, time... Zimbali, all that, he was... He was booming. Yeah, he, he was the he was boy. going crazy. Yeah, yes. he was going... He was on fire. Yeah. And, Ghani, and, he, and he used to be on the road with, with MT as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no that's care. how he came up with yeah. MT on the road. Like So the same method he used... Is literally how the same method we use as TWC. Yeah, he like, had experience at the time. He had a lot of yeah. experience because he was coming from a label and from coming from off the road. Yeah, and you he had it. put out an album. You learn a lot from yeah, that exactly. experience. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? You learn the game. So from there, him and his brother have a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. After they have a misunderstanding, now they got no spot to go. So I'm like, okay, homies. Wait, what, how, how's this happening? Go, yeah, 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 do your thing. How's that? What... How, where is this now in the timeline? Because it in feels the timeline, like you're skipping. A, you're not skipping anything. Nah, you remember I told you that I, they already asked me to join a crew, and then prior uh -huh. that, prior that we already like off the events, they would come through to my spot up to in your the crib, east. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So now they tell me, "Yo, my nigga, we ain't got no spot to go." And out there, them niggas are not feeling it. Cause don't forget, it was Flame, Mash, Chris, the boy. Uh, Jody and TK in one house Okay In yeah, one yeah. apartment uh -huh. So I think they had problems With all of that set up They with, yeah, Making it work out yeah, That yeah. didn't work out Via how it was set up So I cool They come to me They tell me about it We got no spot to go I'm like okay cool I'm in a three bedroom right now It has no <laughs> beds <laughs> No there was one bed and shit yeah. Niggas can buy beds and all that And then niggas can live out here mm. So cool That's how it happened So That's who's hitting you up Trying Saying yo, oh no, it was the boy himself, the boy and the niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yo, we trying to slide through. Yeah, they're like yo, my nigga, shit's not working out out there. We ain't got a spot to go, so what? Are you niggas already TWC? Yeah, and we're already tired at that time. So when they told me about this, I was like, okay, cool, I got a spot, and I'm living alone right now. I just got Echo and Melo, but Echo goes home whenever he wants. Melo goes home whenever he wants. Yeah. So most of the time, I'd be there alone or with them. Had you guys? Put out any music yet? No. Nah. It was had, just that just one record. Been... That's so what? Yeah. Oh, you guys had already put that out though. That Zushi record with Ray Reese. And yeah, we already put it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, homie comes through. They live with me. I get evicted now. Because now, in that building in Murrayfield, I'm yeah. the only black person there. So now, yeah. it was like a matter of everybody would go to each other because they knew each other. So it was like an old age home type thing like it was just old ass people in there like oh, okay. super old yeah, okay. so my brother used to live there right so when uh, he moved out I took over Okay. so now those people got me evicted so now I had to move out so what for having the squad out there yeah. living crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then when clothes when, when I used to hang clothes sometimes you can't hang clothes over the balcony but I didn't know that <laughs> so they took pictures 
So you were, ten, you niggas were turning it into the hood out there. No, not even, bro. Like, what? don't forget we were young. Why are you hanging clothes on the balcony? Come on, now. Nah. <laughs> You've lived in the burbs before. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not the one doing that. But so as soon as I see pictures that my brother shows me with Ed Dog, they got you on camera <laughs> with this action, you yeah. being evicted. So I tell the homies, yo, we being evicted. So at that time, I was being managed by Deso. So I holla at Deso. Wait, real quick. Uh, the there's this uh, slicker on life interview you niggas did where there was like a thousand of y'all. <laughs> it wasn't a thousand. Was that a more. dead crib? <laughs> nah. Oh, okay. we that was the wrecking crew crib. Crib. Oh, okay, Sorry. okay, yeah. okay. We'll get there then. Keep yeah, going. Keep going. Yeah. Crib. Okay. Yeah. You get so, evicted. Uh, I think homie wants to pull up. Yeah, this nigga can do whatever he like. Oh, well, why are you leaving your cup though if you coming back? <laughs> all right, cool. So I'm evicted. We all homeless now. So I highlight this. So this had his business partner called Cabello. Yeah. So we go to Cabello. Shout Deso. Yeah. yeah. So Cabello, uh, Deso highlights that his business partner called Cabello. So now we go to Cabello's mm-hmm. house. So when we go to Cabello's house, those are the people that were managing me at that time. So it's myself. It's the boy. It's Flame. It's Houdini. It's Mash. That mm. go to the crib, Equin and and and, and Melo aren't there. You okay. feel me? They not there, but they still in the squad. Okay, but they not there because not. His... And benchmark, they still in the squad. Yeah, but <laughs> don't forget, they had a misunderstanding. That's what I'm saying. So... Yeah, so they still in the squad, but at that time, they not rolling with us. So if you look through back at that time, mm. the track records, you'll see that there's no actually we don't even have a lot of pictures together. There's no a lot of music together because yeah, of that. Benchmark was only on that. What's tell me what song? you want. Tell me what you want. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, things didn't work out properly. So then TWC becomes just y'all niggas. That's when the it started to niggas. form yeah. as just us six, I think six or five niggas. The mm-hmm. people are counted, the people are counted and Echo and Melo. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. So cool. So now, but they not there though. Cause now this nigga's already cribbing, is already tripping about his house. That is, you know, like niggas are eating my food. Which nigga yeah. now is this? The Cabello nigga that I'm telling you. Oh yeah, you, yeah, well, yeah. you niggas went out there, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, when yeah, Echo yeah, pull up, they also have a misunderstanding with him. They're like, "Yo, screw this, we got a dip." So we're like, "Okay, you know what? This is not working out." What's the misunderstanding with him? The misunderstanding he would trip about petty things like like chocolate and juice. But so niggas f- probably called him a hoe. <laughs> but, but, this, but, but at the same time, it's his it's his food, it's, it's his it's his, it's his fridge. You gotta <laughs> respect that. But at the same time, it's confusing because you're telling us you want to work with us, you want to be our partner, you want to build this thing. Mm. And right now, we're showing you, hey, we're going through something. As soon as we up and we stable, we'll be fine. I don't remember none of that, bro. <laughs> of what? Of Cabello? Like uh, he, he was there for one day. He got kicked out. Like, yeah. I remember, I remember he, he was the one who caused the Yeah, problems. he was the cause for us to move out and go to no Stain ways. City. So hey, we, you were eating all the food out there. <laughs> nah, bro. So we're running we, up the chocolate. I don't think, I don't think I have, I don't think I was there, bro. Yeah, you went there for, you were there for a day, B. You guys had a fight. He was there for a day and got kicked out. They, they had a fight. That's how we ended up at Gusto's house, our homie called Gusto in Stain City. Right. So now, at also at Stain City. So you also, and all your friends are like rich or what? What's this? <laughs> Cause all the burbs you've mentioned are like not the not the mini burbs. Okay, cool. So <laughs> so when I uh, so when I, I I started my music career, right? I had a friend of mine called Gusto. His name is Vic. Okay. So my brother owns a law firm. So my brother's law firm was working with his family. They own hospitals. That's big dog shit. Your brother what? Say that again. He owns a law firm. So, <laughs> so now my brother's law firm was working with um, Vic's family via the hospitals because they own hospitals. Mm. So now, Dang. from there on, from there on, what happened was I was like, dude, we just got kicked out. And he's the only guy that I know because he was also my business partner in the whole music thing. Because yeah. I wasn't signed. So in order for me to shoot music videos and everything, yeah, yeah. it was my family and him. And then we would put, and his family would put money together and we'd yeah. shoot and we'd be able to have everything. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, I got the flu, guys, but I had to hey. still come to work. So, hey, live with it. <laughs> mm. So, after that, after we get kicked out because of the homies and everything, it's a squabble. So, 
when we come back, I remember, I think Flame is the one that told us, like, yo, this homie's tripping, the homie's left. So we're like, okay, fine, cool. Let me hit up somebody I know. So I hit up Gusto. Yeah. So myself, uh, the boy, the same squad again, without the two homies, mm. without Echo and Melo, yeah. we go to Gusto's place in Stain City. Yeah. So we stay out there for like a week or so. And then at his spot, the same thing happened. Flame ate his, Flame ate his cheese everywhere. or something. And then he tripped and we like, right, you know what, screw it. We out. Yeah. Because it was just it was just over small things and we didn't want to make you uncomfortable because we're already asking you to please help us until we are stable. So as soon as we feel that you're uncomfortable, we yeah. left. And then now that's how we ended up speaking to George Lewis. Oh, okay, okay. George Lewis had a place that's he how owned. it ended up in that picture. Because <laughs> that's no. always then in that picture the, the, <laughs> the topic of conversation. What is George doing in the photo? No, basically, so Pipi the ghost, the guy I told you about? Yeah. That's his friend. So we met uh, George Lewis through Pipito. Okay. And he was already a fan of the boy. Of course, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, yo. <laughs> he was already the fan of the Wait, boy. Wait, he dozed enough? I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Tell your story, family. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Why is he laughing? <laughs> Am I tripping, bro? <laughs> nah, for real, bro. No, nah, we feel you though. We we here for the chop though. Give yeah. us the chop. <laughs> if your boy wanna take five on that, let him. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know what's the problem? They slept yeah. late. Yeah, they yeah. They slept like like six right now. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just, man, I smoked you, a couple you, of blunts. Yeah, but you guys just sleep, they don't cap on it. Yeah. It was mm. a mission fishing these niggas. Uh, <laughs> okay, nah, let me not say that. Let me not say that. Yeah. I hear, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, George, yeah. So, uh, George Lewis was already a fan of the boy, mm. you know, and he owned a property in uh, Rodeport. Oh, that's fire. George is, George is in, in his Honeydew. bag. Yeah, Honeydew. Oh, yeah. that's when you niggas went to Honeydew. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. now our paperwork was not correct. You know how it is when you're an artist, right? So because you don't have a, a, a salary, oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah it's yeah, hard yeah. for you to go rent a place. It's hard for you to go do anything. Yeah, the credits go away. Oh, it's crazy. You yeah. could afford it on in your account. Yeah, you got it on but you, but... As long as you don't have the paperwork, <laughs> you can't move into yeah. this house. So George took it upon himself. He heard about our problem and then he took it upon himself to, you know, to say, you know what, I have a property and under this property, I will sign up for it. Then you guys just pay me monthly. Then we pay George monthly and that's how we ended up in Honeydew. And that's, that's how... That's fire. Shout out to yeah. George. He's yeah. a real one for no, that. No, he's a real what? one, man. That's my OG for Most ever. Down that's a real guy one ever. for that. Most mm. chill guy mm. ever, bro. Yeah, yeah. facts though. Because yeah. Most chill. whenever I bumped into him also, it's just like dap up. Like, yo, what's up? Yeah. He's a... He's a... Yeah, so uh, the reason chill. why you guys are seeing us in our pictures is because before the house was set up, we had to be at his actual house. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. So that photo is at his actual house. It's at Smoking Lotta like George. When crib. the boy said Smoking Lotta George Lewis' house. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where it was at. It's actual house. So we were there for like a few days or so. And then from there on, we got moved to uh, where he actually had a property and we rented it out. Yeah. And then that's when we started becoming stable. That's when now you niggas can finally get in your bag. Yo. Damn. <laughs> now we can breathe. Damn. Yeah, now we TWC, but now it's the five, six of us. Yeah. Yeah, at that time. Have you guys put out any more music during all this up and no. down? No. Still, no. You guys still just got... Uh, we started everything, no, like started coming. Did. Tell me what you want. Yeah. George Lewis's house, the, the one we were renting out in Honeydew. Yeah. That's where Tell Me What You Want came from. That's where oh, Doesn't okay. Make It Right, Tell Me, yeah, oh, came okay. from. That's where all these records we have together, the ones that formed us and created a foundation for us as a crew, yeah, that's yeah. where they come from. Yeah. And Honeydew. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How long is how long is the stay in Honeydew? Yo, the stay in Honeydew wasn't long. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. wasn't long either. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Not like that. A year, though. Yeah, but it wasn't long because we started making rack. Now we could afford a house. Yeah, but we moved out as soon as we could. Yeah, yeah. But after a year. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah so I say, yeah, that's... Yeah. So you guys were settled there. You guys yeah, no, no, we were settled. We got the house fully furnished. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we went crazy. Did y'all put out, uh, tell me what you want while still living out there? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. So because now we 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 had no no funds, yeah. At the time we can only afford to. Sorry, at the time we can only afford to, to pay rent, right? Mm. Uh, nobody knows Flame at that time, so he's still about to release, and you know, because when he wasn't ambitious, he didn't really actually drop anything. I think solid, yeah. so nobody. Knew I mean, him. he had the joint with MT. Was it out? Yeah, that came with out. a video. Yeah, I remember that joint came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, but he wasn't like a. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. Like, he didn't have yeah. solid motion. <coughs> Facts. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So sharp, cool. So we like okay, fine. At that time, it's only me and the boy and his DJ making money, uh, Houdini. Yeah. So cool. Are you wanna pause? Yeah. <laughs> Character of the. Yeah, your boys is different. Yeah. Your boys is different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been like this my whole life. Hey man, whatever floats his boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been like this my whole life, right? Yeah. He does his own thing. But anyway, um, now we just got uh, all this out here, I guess, <laughs> for the leisure. And he did pass out. I saw. Him. <laughs> I seen that. I seen the slight little. Uh, so this Shit. Oh, this thing's gonna stay huh? <coughs> yeah, he finna go viral. <laughs> he, fin- he finna go viral. He finna go viral. Get off the lean, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been preaching it. <laughs> and, and 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 you know, like I've been off the lean for like four years now. Four years, yeah. Uh, off cigarettes for four years now. And I stopped, and I, and I stopped, bro. And shout out to... One thing I'll give a boy a shout out to is A. Reese, bro. He fought me every day to stop cigarettes. He fought me every day to yeah, stop lean. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, the lean too. Yeah, he he, he he didn't do the lean like that, like that. Nah, he did it, but he stopped prior. Uh, everyone stopped like, early. Yeah, he stopped early, and then he pushed everyone to stop. And <coughs> I stopped as well. He saw it early. Shout out to him. He is a, a wise young man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a wise yeah, he's, young a, he's man. a wise young man in some yeah. things for sure. What, nigga? <laughs> what, what is... That sounded like a correction of so. Yes, it is a correction. He's still, like, young. So he is a young, a young yeah, wise man. Yeah, still a young nigga, of course. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Where was I, though? So, honey, you, yo, there, yo, put out uh, Tell Me What You Want. Yeah, we put out Tell Me What You Want. Mm. Uh, the boy, I think, puts out <coughs> Moon Island Honey Dude, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think you were saying Flame was making no money. Yo, <laughs> yeah. At that time, at that time, yeah. No, Flame wasn't yeah. gigging at that time. He was just, okay. he was just like you know. So me and uh, the boy actually went to the mall together. So we like, okay, fine, let's set it up. We like, we'll take care of the household. I'll take care of Flame. He'll take care of Mash at that time. Mm-hmm. Cause also Mash just left the label, right? Yeah. So that's what me and him spoke about. So that at the house, there's no like commotion. Like everything is proper. Oh, you niggas had to go. St- Sit down, two men. Now we were just talking. We're just going to the mall together. That's when he bought a Bob Marley painting. He has this Bob Marley painting that he had. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, So we just went to the mall together. And so then, years was close. Like the yeah, two of y'all yeah. had uh, y'all's well, own little bond. Yeah, we had a crazy bond because because most of the things uh, when TWC um, after like Honeydew, right? Mm. I get there. Like most of the things me and him had to pay for. Okay. Because yeah, don't forget yeah. from there, the boy started having super motion. Yeah, yeah, the boy started <laughs> steaming. He's yeah. going crazy. Yeah. yeah, so from there, the boy started steaming. Started it's becoming having, even more hot. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's becoming all the way up. So me and him, like most of the things would have to cover them together. Mm. You know? Where are you getting these racks from? Uh, so me, basically, like I said, family business. Okay. It's not like I don't go like saying, okay, guys, I want money to turn up and like buy alcohol. I say, listen, here's a business idea. Yeah. I need 30 <laughs> bands. I need 100 bands. Yeah. Can you help or not? And then from there, if I get the money, I take the money and I try to flip it. Okay. I don't I don't ask money to try to go flex on people or try to go. No, I ask for money for business to try to multiply to the wealth. Make shit look good. Yeah. No, no, don't even make shit look to make money. Okay. Yeah, my brother, even my older brother right now is is like working with a lot of artists in the game. Okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, 
like the whole uh, my in my family, like none of us believe in working for someone else. Yeah. So I've never worked a nine to five. So that's why if I'm coming in to say there's an idea and I need at least a young something for this, are you yeah. able to help? If they are at that time, yeah. they'll help. So you were, what sounds like uh, sourcing out the funding to kind of help Other keep shit afloat. Well. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, and also, also my family, my family friend Gusto. Yeah, yeah, him as well. He's still getting involved, even though he kicked y'all out the crib. He's, <laughs> oh yeah, he's dude, still on love. What? Though. It's still on love. It's when we moved to George's house, we had no curtains, no furniture. He came and slept with us on the floor. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, yeah he came in. Bear in mind, he's pulling up in a whole G-Wagon, Bravo's game. Ooh. <laughs> fire. And he's sleeping on the floor. He's a with real us. one. Shout he's out a real to him. One. Shout he's out to Goose. So shout out to Vic. So even him, though, mm. we didn't have money to shoot <laughs> our Wrecking Crew music videos. Mm. So I reached out to family. I reached out to him. They funded the money. We got to shoot Tell Me What You Want, the music video. Yeah. There was another music video, 420 music video. We shot that as well. Mm. Yeah. That's fire. Guys, can someone please boil me some water and bring it for me? Because the cough is getting crazy. I think it's going to bump down the cough. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit crazy. It's coming up on me. Um, Okay. <laughs> and then what? And then um, from there, I think the biggest mistake that we made was moving to Pretoria. That's Okay, so yeah, mm. I remember there was a mm. buzz about you niggas coming back to the city. Oh, yeah. That's where that house is at. That house you speak about, 812. Yeah. Like the one you speak about on Slicker's interview. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you niggas had a thousand niggas. Now, for me to, 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 to get to that house. And also, I want to, this is what I wanted to address when I was wiling out on the tweets. Yeah. Right? Because you started saying some out of pocket shit out there. I had to, <laughs> I had to text you on the tip. I'm like, yo, why are you saying certain shit? You feel shit? me? Yeah. So, because of how the boy records his music <clears throat> yeah. and his lyrics, mm -hmm. a lot of people believe that A. Reese uh, was funding us and we were living off him and we were holding him back. Not understanding that everyone there was playing a serious role even outside of music yeah. for things to actually happen. I mean, he did say, um, Jesus to my niggas with the bread. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's out of his own mouth. That's you, literally him saying his Jesus saying? to y'all with the bread. But you see what I'm saying? Which mm. wasn't true. So that's why now we had to Y'all let him say that though. No, 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 no. Bear in mind. Bear in mind. He you said could, that right in front of y'all. No. <laughs> you could be coming back home and this nigga got a record. Are you going to tell this nigga to change his verse? So you niggas just had to live with the fact that he was saying that though. He we like, okay, cool. <clears throat> but for me at that time, I Were y'all feeling away? Like, no, I didn't even feel away. What? I didn't feel away because for me, it's like, dog, he can say this because this is his house too. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, go crazy. Go crazy. It's your house too. Talk that shit. But now we started living in a shadow of no, oh, they are holding him back. Mm. They are eating the money. They are doing <laughs> this. They are doing that yeah. when that's not even the case here. Wait, so people who were saying you guys are eating the money. Holding him back, this, that. If anything, the crew was making him bigger, which are words that came out of his mouth. If anything, he used to fight with his management because now he had to pick between Wrecking Crew gigs yeah. and the boy gigs. Now for his own gigs, he's getting late because the crew's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's becoming unstoppable. And now when you're looking yeah. at the bag this side, it's 55, it's 45, it's 65. For the Reagan crew, where? What do you mean, where? <laughs> where? Who's paying that? People out of town everywhere, bro. Bloom, Kimby. I can show you. I even have, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people, it overshadowed us so much that people didn't even know that I had my own one-man shows in Bloom. Okay. Whereby I can show you, like, clips. I can take out my phone right now and show you videos of me running Bloom and Kimberly. One man yeah. with no flame, no reach, no Off nothing. Off of the TWC shit? Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And people like fucking with me. But all of that got shadowed, got, got shadowed but yeah. what, by what he was saying. You feel what but I'm saying? But it's not just what he was saying. He's actually him. Him how? Reese is him, him. Yeah, and that's why we understood that, listen, bro, we're going to push you because you're the bigger artist now. There was a system there. Mm. 
we push you as the bigger artist now. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because once you are in the game and you are up there, you're able to pull up Flame. Mm-hmm. Flame is able to pull up Echo. Yeah. Echo's able to pull up X. Yeah. X is able to pull up, then we all good. Yeah, yeah. I even had, if, if, if you look at my music videos, right? I had a lot of music videos with Kyle White, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So now... I also, that's another wave I started, by the way. Is it? Yeah. So I had a lot of music videos with Kyle White, right? Mm. So now, after that, Kyle White was like, yo, homie, I'm going to give you a package of like 10, 15 music videos that uh-huh. you can shoot for a discount. Okay. So I'm like, what? Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kyle White. Yeah, shout out to Kyle White for that. He's, he's a real one. He... Even for night and day, I remember he had offered to do that for me for free because he fucked with my performance. He was like, I'm dope. You feel what I'm saying? He's a real one. So I'm like, oh, crazy. This is dope for me. Shout out, Kyle. So what did I do? I paid for music videos in advance. Okay, yeah. For in case, if I get hit records, if I make songs... If I get records, if I make songs... Welcome to the I'm show. I'm sorry, King Buddha. I'm sorry, King Buddha. <laughs> I'm just going show, through man. a lot. I'm going through a lot. Like, <laughs> you going to be straight, though? I'm trying to be. I'm still I'm still going through this little young. Know, that's why I'm out here just apologizing. But I will be back. Don't worry about it. I will be back. All right. I will chop it up with you. It's all good. Watch out. It's all love, <laughs> family. It's all love. But that's respect, though. I, I fuck yeah, with that. Respect. Yeah, respect I respect that. that. Yeah. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So... Where was I again? Where were we? Niggas. Where were we? No one's focusing. Somewhere in... Uh, Kyle White, yes. come on, Buddha. You pay for videos in advance. Buddha, I was to interrupt Buddha. Buddha. Like, <laughs> you should be on a regular with this motion. I don't get interrupted like this on the regular. <laughs> Have you seen my show? My show's never been like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about this, by the way. Yeah. Guys, I'm so sorry. Whoa. We'll so put a, disclaim- <laughs> we'll so put a disclaimer for this episode. I should have chopped it one man, eh? Yeah, you should have come by yourself, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, cool. But, we but shout out to the homies for yeah, being they, here. they family. Yeah, they always they family. They do whatever yeah. they like. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I was like, cool, I paid for two music videos uh, ahead by Carl White. Oh, thank you. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, if you look, now here's where my, my understanding comes in as a team player. Yeah. It's the boy's birthday. I'm like, yo, hey, Reese, my nigga, here's a gift. Oh, that's right? fire. I, I shot, I shot, I paid for two music videos ahead. Mm. You can take one because you're the bigger artist now. Yeah. And then from there on, once you got the crazy motion, yeah. the whole crew will have crazy motion because you would have already had this hype and you can bring the hype down to the boys. Yeah. So I give him the one music video, Kyle White music video, and then I get flamed the other one. Uh, he shot on my own. Oh, fire. Did yeah. all that shit that's on my fire. own. Yeah. yeah. That's when the boy... Uh, and that's a dead crib? Uh, Weren't you guys now in the South? Oh, no. When no, you no, shot no. on my own? No, 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 no. You I, shot it, I, it was at Camille Drift at, uh, at Airbnb. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So that was at an Airbnb. Okay. Cool, so that's when I'm now playing like a team player on some, okay, cool, I understand what's happening Yeah, here. you throw the alley you you like, okay, you can hold one, and you're like, flame, hold up, flame shot what? Yeah, money today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah fire, yeah. fire. And yeah, and so things get into motion. Yeah, things are getting into motion. My brother's going to London. I'm like, yo, I'm fighting with people. I'm like, yo, please leave cars, because now we need the cars for these videos, because now this is that, these are that hit songs. Mm. So we need to like try to push it together for everything to make yeah. it look pee. Cool. What type of cars are these that you secure? Uh, regular port. Uh, Panamera 4S Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, uh, just uh, you know, light work. <laughs> the same one I was driving. The same one you, you knew me driving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I was living with my brother, we had two Porsches in the Benz. And that's what people always saw me in. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like 2014, 2015. Light work. Yeah, <laughs> that's not light work, but hey, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but cool. Yeah. But cool. Um, so f- uh we get the music video shot, and then after that, there was a few funds missing. The boy, uh the bo- I went to Aries, I'm like, yo, Kawaii says a few funds missing because he wants to do edits, whatnot. Then he paid the difference. Oh, the boy? Yeah, the boy handled that. Okay. 
You know what Shout I'm saying? Shout out to the boy. Yeah. He's paying some bills. Yeah. <laughs> he been, he been, he been. Yeah, he's doing so, his thing. Yeah, he's doing his thing. He's getting he his bread, thing. Oh, don't get it twisted. He also, like, did a lot for the it's crew. Jesus to yeah. his knees with the bread. I have. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I'm fucking around. See, respect, <laughs> yeah. respect So really. when we get to Pretoria, which is why I was telling you Pretoria was the biggest mistake that we ever did as TWC. Yeah, yeah. And I remember it was a decision that me and him made. Yeah. We like, my G... Well, we paying here. We can add a few bands and we can get a house in Pretoria East in the Burbs. Yeah. We're like, cool. And the East is the one, though. Them, Come them on. size PTA East is, is a cut. You feel what I'm That's saying? That's a cut, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go out there. So I go out there, we go out there, we get this house. Guess what, right? Now, we ain't got no paperwork. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying... The lyrics, like a bigger mansion every year because I own masters. It confused a lot of uh, a lot of people because I got the paperwork for the house. Wait, what do you mean by it confused a lot of people? What's the confusion? The confusion is he copped the house because he owns masters and we are living in that house. Oh, okay, okay. So you you're, what you're saying. saying what? And I'm saying that wasn't the situation <laughs> for us to get that house. That wasn't the chat. So you're saying that wasn't factual. You're saying but, the masters ain't. Well, the masters wasn't the reason why we get in that house because he wasn't. There's no wrecking crew house we've lived in that the boy paid for fully himself. Rent say, hey guys, here's the house, here's the rent money. There's never been that. But are you sure that people f- feel like what yeah, I'm you're sure. saying? They feel like yeah, I'm sure because I. Get told this. I used to live through this. Just like how if the niggas were here, niggas were like, oh, the crew splits because X uh, handled uh, Flames Gold. That's a lie too. Wait, that was the story? Yes. I was living off of these shadows, bro. I'm not, like if people, if people, if you go online or, or just on the comments on my yeah. hate, you will leave, you will see that. People are like, but yeah, aren't you the reason why the crew split? No, yeah. I wasn't the reason why the crew split. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. the same things. Okay, so you want to what? Straighten out the so narrative? So I was straightening, I was straightening out the narrative that, yeah. hey guys, if anything, the crew was making the boy bigger. If anything, the crew you was... You feel like the crew was making the boy bigger? That's his own words that came out of his mouth. I'm not saying this out of saying, yo, hey, the crew was making the boy bigger. He said it himself, if anything, the crew is making me bigger. Where was he coming from saying that? Because his fans kind of was complaining like... Oh, you always rapping with your friends. Yeah, Stop the fans were saying friends. that. And that's why for him, it was a, such a conflict for, for him and his management and everybody else around him. Because to him, yeah. he's like, what? Dog, okay, look at it. So this what here. makes you say y'all were making him bigger? Let me tell you, let me tell you yeah, what yeah. I would say. Get in that bag. Flame. Mash. Mm. Flame is the business. No, wait. Flame. Mm. Mash. The business. Echo. Yeah. You got words. You mm. got me. You got Everybody, when we in studio making records, yeah. everybody has an input. Okay, so the energy. Not is, even the energy. What? For example, tell me what you want. I came with the melody and flow. He yeah. came with the words. Doesn't make it right. I came with the word uh with the I kept on saying, doesn't make it right. No, 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 no. He yeah. came with the words. Okay. A okay. whole lot of songs came about like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like the whole crew is involved in. In the creative process, yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole crew is involved in where you have... I remember when... Because don't forget, the hate also started with me where people were like, yo, what? fuck this ex nigga. Whoa, whoa. And he's like, yo, people... Why like, would they say fuck this ex bro, nigga? I don't even know where it was coming <laughs> from. And he was like, it's so confusing that people are saying this because the same person that they wanted me about is the same person who's putting a roof over my head. Yeah, yeah. His words again. I feel you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even he knew that your wrecking that crew niggas is valuable to him. Yes. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ask you this: What's a bigger record right now that he has that's bigger than the period that we were there, that you know right now? Like that is bigger than holding hands, me not and how do you do? Five year plan. That's a trick question. Um, and those all those records came about TWC era. Mm. But it's still his records, though. What do you mean? It's still, I'm saying all those records came about in the TWC era because yeah. why? Musically, all those people played a role. Musically, holding hands is what happened in the house. 
Yeah, yeah. You feel but what I'm he's saying? He's the nigga making he's the He's the record, nigga making though. it. That's why I was saying the energy, I, and I feel you on that. It's like, oh, yeah, he, you niggas were the battery in his back. I hear that. We, I hear we, that. He was free and was able to be in his back in whichever way he wants to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he ain't had to do much. Because homie doesn't even want to like be a, a like rap, rap, rap hard. He wants to make fly singing top music. Yeah. That's how I used to know him. That's why he used to tell us. Yeah, if you listen, true, yeah, if you it, listen to the holding hands, the the fuck you type, yeah. the, those type of records, you can hear where he's trying to go, where he was trying to go with Even it. Even on Paradise, he had a couple of joints where he's getting in that bag. He likes that bag. And he likes he, that bag, and he kills that bag. Yeah, it's fire at that. Yeah, Friends. you feel what I'm saying? So for me, that's why even for me, like, uh, like from a fan, like I haven't been getting impressed. Like me as a fan compared to what? What do yeah. you mean? Like no, like no, not the rap wise. He's a rap god. Like he got that on lock. Come on, nah. I'm be talking about the like or the, the records. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about the holding hands. I'm talking about those type records. I'm yeah. talking about that. Come that, on, Reese fans, you're a Reese guy. What's speak on Reese? What's a record like after the TWC shit that you could say go crazy? He's got some records. I'm sure he does. He got, but I'm saying the. On that magnitude. That's why I'm, I can't think of one right now. So I want to huh? put it on the floor. Uh, You're the risk guy. Come on, say something. Let the kids... I think the kids are the... There it is. Yeah, I'm a big risk fan too. I'm, I'm giving you a solid perspective. You guys, yeah, you guys. I'm not denying it. I'm just making sure that we're being fair. Okay, and, we get and, and I will say, and, and, let, and let's not take this away. Rapping wise, crazy, solid. He can do it. Yeah, he no doesn't doubt miss. about it. So you guys can't think of a, a record. What is a couple? Yeah, just like, we just mention one. one, bro. Mention one. I mean, you can. Okay, you let, me go. <laughs> let okay, me go. Okay, go in his iTunes right now. Yeah, let me. No, no, go in his iTunes. Do you need the mic, they say? But uh, is it going to reach? Uh, okay. Is this a real thing that he's, he hasn't been on fire since? No, not that he hasn't been on fire. He's been. Okay, on, 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 on iTunes is Holding Hands, the biggest one. The second one is Me, Lon, and Honeydew. The third uh, one is Five Year Plan, like I said. Wait, hold on. So... These are facts. This is crazy. So okay, I don't so know. Holding homies. hands is at the top. And Ben Mind, homies, Ben dropping. I'm not talking about. This is years ago, homies. This is years ago. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, okay, but the five year plan is that's what? TWC also? Uh, that was the record that was actually, uh, it was a words record. Actually, yeah. But is that TWC that was era? That, that was that era too. Yeah, Wes came up with that joint. Yeah. Damn. All right. And then, they, and then the boy hopped on and then, yeah, ended up being the boy's song. Yeah, I love that perspective. I, can can okay, you see? Because, yeah, I see. I'm not, I see, trust yeah. me, this is not a hate level. This is not anything like that. Yeah, it's I just, just had to confirm yeah, it because yeah. I'm like, okay. It's something that I had to I, think if, you about a fan, if you're a fan and you tapped in, like, you would really like notice. But he's, he's, he's still been able to keep his fans tapped in. Yeah, for sure. Like, the music like, is still that, good. That will never go away, bro. Don't forget yeah. that in music, that's why I also take, like, I take a year for me to record a new uh, uh, project because I would go and I have to read books. I would have to go uh, learn new strategies. I would have to go learn how to pronounce words because you have to keep improving. Of course, yeah, facts. And that is, he keeps improving. So once you keep improving, you'll always have a solid fan base. Yeah. But right now we're talking about okay, fine. We need to compete. Here's a piano record running the charts, running the the radio stations. How are we fighting that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When I'm saying okay, oh, yeah, where yeah. are those records? Okay, so what? Talking hits. Yeah, yeah. Saying the I'm boy. I'm not saying I'm not coming. Saying, saying the boy ain't got no hits. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. He got them for sure a lot. No, I mean lot. since TWC is what you said. I'm saying since TWC musically he hasn't. He hasn't tapped in like, sorry? Yeah, his biggest hits are with TWC is what I'm saying. Like what he's saying. No, somebody said no. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Tell us one, tell us yeah, one. Yeah, because it's, like, that's you what got, it's looking like here on iTunes. You, you need to tell us one. 
no, no, no. Let's let's leave the things. Just say the record. So we know. Uh, the deadline of project do well. The what? His project that has bigger than deadlines. Me and, yeah, yeah, that project. That's a well. fat project. Yeah, that's but a, what's the hit? Though? And the song I think bigger than me is on 800 k on Spotify. Okay, but streams. And is it bangs and loud in the streets? Is, is, are you crazy? hearing it everywhere you go? Like how the you thing, heard Meanwhile and Honey do and holding hands? But on the shows, the people are seeing it back. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's the shows because people come out because I know Aries is going to be there. I'm a fan. I'll pull For up. Sure. For That's sure. why I said the music is still solid. So That's why we say the music is solid. But is it on that magnitude? Is oh, what we so you're saying with TWC he had hits and now he doesn't no, have hits? No. No. His <laughs> Listen, his biggest record. Yes. So did, yes. And did he have a bigger song than Paradise with TWC? Then the song Paradise. A bigger song than Paradise? Like, yeah. No. He had a couple. What? Yeah. Me and Alan Honey too. Was it bigger than Paradise? What? Yeah, nigga. That come thing on. go. What? Come on. The chance are here. Paradise is number four. Paradise is number four, B. It surpassed it. And nothing can still surpass holding hands. Nothing yeah. can still surpass me and Honey too. On my own is crazy. There it is, That's bro. A crazy record. So if we're gonna chop it up, let's chop it up with facts, not what we think and thoughts and oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> <laughs> Respect for you. Ah, oh, you wild. Okay, shit. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, uh, you gotta think about because you know why he told me to always listen to everybody's <clears throat> music. Yeah. So even if I may not agree with a lot of things being said in records and how the perspective may seem, I still play everybody's joints. Do you not maybe think it's intentional for him? He's maybe not trying to make hit records? But who, which artist doesn't want to make it? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Am I confused yet? That's a good question. <laughs> I, hey, you can man. tell me. Hey, you can I'm, tell me. I'm from... trying here. I love the boy. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I, bro. I feel it. It's all love too. Like, I'm talking about like something that was instilled by him. Yeah. Something to look at. Which is what I'm looking at as well. Okay, so you're saying all this to say what? I'm saying all this to say, yo, I believe that it's fair that... Because you know what happened after this whole split? Uh -huh. How did the split happen? Because you okay. haven't even gotten that. <laughs> let, me tell like, you, let me tell you how that happened, right? We went to this house... saying you guys didn't fuck each other's girl. No, I fucked... There they are. There the homies. They... I didn't fuck nobody's hand. Where's that hunt. narrative coming from? I didn't from? fuck nobody's hand for the crew to split and that was the narrative online. Where's that coming from? Huh? Where's that coming from? <laughs> because he dated a, a hand that I used to see back in the day. But, okay, so... But what I'm saying is where is it coming from for people to even say that's why you all broke up? Because of the hand. How the hand was wilding out online as well. What the hand do online? Why you didn't follow up on that? I ain't about to speak on no Han because if I speak on that <laughs> yeah, Han... Yeah, but you just... don't have to say her name. Oh, oh okay, cool. But she just we don't need to know who the Han is. Oh, yeah, I, okay, we cool. want to know what happened. Okay, cool. But I want to I wanna tell you the actual reason why the crew actually uh, got to a point where things went okay and we had to go separate ways. Okay, okay, yeah, do that. I think that's, a, that's more of a valid point. But if the Han was on the net, because she caused the rumor. She and caused the, the rumor, rumor but is the going rumor, around. But the rumor... It's like any other rumor that's cap. You can't give it like attention. But that's why you got to clarify it and clarify why it's cap. And I'm saying the rumor came about is because this hand that he dated, yeah. I was with her prior he dated her. Yeah. So, people, But there were no feelings. Nobody bro, felt a way about that. You ain't feel a way about that? What? No. What? Like I even told him, yo, do it. Like Dunham. I even told him like Dunham and he went out there yeah. and he did it and he did his thing. Yeah. But people it's thought, nothing, yeah. yeah. But people thought me and Flame will beef him because I ha I handled his girl, and now that's why the crew split, and that's not the You're reason. You're saying why. you didn't handle his girl, huh? You're saying you didn't handle. What oh, I Flame's didn't handle girl. his girl? What nigga? Me and him spoke when he showed me the girl. I was like, damn, I actually, and I give him a cosign. That's it. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, yo, so do you, it for you me. were letting, you were giving niggas girls. It sounds like you, nah, <laughs> <laughs> you, nah. you had, nah, the, nah. you the one handing girls out. Nah, 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 nah. So I believe as homies out there nationwide, y'all gotta <laughs> do this at home. Yeah, if you get a new hunt and you don't ask your homies if they don't know this hunt, and you don't do your research and your backup check, yeah. you will see flames. So you have to do this. Mm. So. So you've just ran through a lot of the shit. Nah. 
Because <laughs> it seems like... I don't want... I don't even want that brand of running through hunts because I had to fight that too. Like... like Fighting oh, the truth. It's... it's, it's it's more like... Because keep it a bean. You out here chopping it. We keep it a bean out here. You, I, I'm going to keep it a bean, but... You ran some shits. Come on, you coming from the dancer era. You yeah. guys have <laughs> been running through shit since then. Okay, cool. I've handled mummies. I've handled mummies yeah. quite a lot. Quite a lot. But yeah. it's nothing that I'm proud of. Yeah, no, we not... That's I, not I did it because some girl hurt my heart. Her name was Mbumi. I was 16. Okay. And then I... I damaged from, you. Did you she damage? damaged me. And then from there, I dated 16 girls that year. I remember. <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at this. Look at this now. Okay. So w w the reason y'all really broke up then. Hold on. Give us that. My bad. Yeah, no. My bad. He wanted the car keys, y'all. My bad. Yeah. Hey, see y'all show. <laughs> see all so show. cool. So cool. I kicked that out for you. The way the confusion came about. The white yeah, people yeah, thought. That's clear. Yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah. We you co-signed with niggas with the, with the, they can have that. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they and, could never be smoked with that. No, yeah. No. I, feel, I mean, me and him are, are cool. Like, I see homie almost every day. Yeah. You feel and what I'm saying? And y'all have touched the similar things, is what you said? No. He didn't know. Don't bear in mind, he didn't know that I had touched that in, in my past. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't forget but I But it's nothing. Yeah, he didn't yeah. know that. So he was just chopping up with a mommy, and it turns out that girl yeah. was the same girl that I've seen before. Okay. That's yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. That's how it happened. But we moved to Pretoria. And then uh when we had Pretoria, bro, that's why I feel like that was that's where the biggest regret comes from. Yeah. Us moving to Pretoria. What's the problem? The problem was that out there in Pretoria, bro. Yeah. When we got there, the Ari said, hey, guys, I want to introduce you guys to my friends. Yeah. Oh, you want to introduce us to your friends? Oh, okay, cool. Introduce us to your homies. Pull up. Yeah. A Thousand Degrees pulls up. Do you guys know A Thousand Degrees? There's a crew called A Thousand Degrees. It's, it's these homies. They have a song like called that. A Real Nigga Tale. Yeah, I think I saw something like that when you guys came back to PTA. It was like rapping A Thousand Degrees comes up. So A Thousand Degrees, my nigga, you're talking about six, eight niggas. And, and y'all are already six, eight niggas. And we already six, eight niggas. <laughs> yeah. And now there's, those people also have other friends. Damn. That are his friends. Because don't forget, he's from Pretoria. He's we, from Pretoria, We all yeah. from Pretoria now. Everybody that has been looking at you kill shit on TV. Everybody that has been around. going crazy saying, yo, that's my boy. And nobody believed him. They want to prove it. Yeah. And everybody was at that house. Mm. Right? So now this started causing tension in the house. So when it caused tension in the house, we were like... So it was a thousand years in the house. You denied it when I said that. No, prior. Because don't forget, we hadn't gotten to Pretoria yet. No, I'm talking about on the Slicker interview. Because that's when y'all had um, Tandon J. Shout out to Tandon J. Oh, yeah, She's a real one. Y'all had... It was a thousand niggas in that bro, day. Bro, like, I know you're exaggerating, but say 15 at least, bro. <laughs> it was at least 30. Say 15, <laughs> At least 30. I will lie, on Mash's birthday, when I counted the niggas that stepped out the house, it was 25 guys. Come on, now. I will not make this Wild up. He, business. He, he live and tell you. Wild business. Now, imagine feeding 25 guys every day. Imagine buying Who lean for 25 is niggas is that. Imagine buying... I remember there was a time I sat the down. The jets also. The Damn. jets also. Everything. And there was a time I sat down calculating expenses. Yeah. And the weed was... Uh, forty thousand a month, and lean was thirty thousand a month, and you haven't even, you haven't even even paid rent. Yeah, thanks. And niggas are shopping every day, cause it's peak TWC at the time. Yeah, Breeze is the most booked artist, hip hop artist at the time as well, cause there was years. The most what? Yeah, there was there, there was a most. He was the, there was years. He was the most hip hop book artist, like years. Like there was mm, uh, yeah, I don't sorry. remember that. Like the most booked hip hop artist. When there was, was a year, bro. I remember, I swear to God. 2018? I swear to God. Bro. He was as booked as Questa? That guy was crazy booked. We need like, a fake checker on this show. <laughs> nah, if I do but it. But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, he was with Tuli, bro. Tuli, Tuli, Tuli about business. Yeah, I business. remember they were going crazy. Yeah, Tuli about business. You're doing yeah. five, six gigs a night out there. Like, no cap, you know? So we, okay. moved, we moved to Pretoria and now uh, we're starting to cause conflict in the house. So we ended up having a meeting about these guys in the house. The... The, the, the thousand degrees, yeah, nigga. thousand degrees, and then the boys. Also, oh, the TWC niggas don't fuck with the thousand no, degrees. No, it's not nigga. that. Don't forget, it's why. So you telling me right now? Remember Echo saying? So you telling me I can just call three of my cousins to come live with us right now? <laughs> Wildin. K 
can, can I do that? Can I call my friends to come live with us right now? Can I do that? Got I can already see the setup in the house. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So now it's starting to cause tension in the house. So what happens? We have a meeting. Yeah. The boy's like, okay, guys, who's going to sign a thousand degrees with me? I'm going to sign them. Oh, okay. He raises his hand, one man. Nobody co-signs him. <laughs> he signs a thousand degrees, one man. Yeah. Now, after he signs them, because he signed them, where are these niggas living? I need the cushion. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. After he signed them, where do you think they're going to live? I don't know. I wasn't no, I'm asking you, like, if, if you sign me right now, yeah. I, I'm going to be where you at, right? Yeah. Unless if I can Unless get you a Unless if you crib. tell me something, right? Yeah. But right now, you and your niggas just got the crib. Yeah. You and your niggas just got the crib. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Thank you, I, I hollered at Gusto. I got the paperwork. Because now we were able to get the house <laughs> like that. Uh, hold up, family. You niggas <laughs> <laughs> bringing the paperwork out here. No, like I'm saying, yes, because you can't get a house without paperwork. You yeah. got a show. F- you got a show, okay? I can afford this house. Okay. Credit score. So I had to hit up, I had to hit up family for this house. So I'm yeah, like, yo, yeah. okay, cool. My niggas, we can afford the house. All we need is paperwork and a signature. Mm. They did that. We moved into the house. What happens? He signs the homies. When he signs the homies, the homies are in the house. Yeah. Right? So he's and and, and okay. then now now these niggas are not going home, bro. And now we also like have built a relationship with homies, so we're not about to say, yo, nigga, Deb, you didn't talk to me to come here. Yeah. You feel what oh, I'm so saying? So y'all pressing the boy to make No, niggas we, we we you can see the tension. So we had a meeting. So that's when he said, I'll sign a thousand degrees. Okay. And then what? Disaster. Because now the wrecking crew is the same, like the money we're making as a crew. Yeah. It's the money that's feeding everyone. Including it's, a thousand degrees. It's no longer feeding us now, the niggas that worked for it. Mm. Also, you need to start having problems with the splits. Like, mm, We're not even splitting the crazy. money. We've never split the raking crew money. It pays for rent, food. If niggas have shows, certain niggas will be like, okay, cool, go shopping. Yeah. Go, go get your swag on for the gig, whatnot. Yeah. But now, those niggas also, you have to count them too now when you're buying hair, when you're buying food. Yeah. So you go into the garage, you're spending 3000 at the BP garage on pies because it's 25 Cause it's like niggas. like 30 niggas, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then now niggas are smoking weed and then later on at night, niggas are getting hungry again. You go into the garage again, it's another three bands. You get what I'm saying? I know that lifestyle. I can relate. That's you know, how I you was get what I'm saying? Cash time shit, yeah. You get what I'm saying? And now you haven't bought groceries yet for 25 niggas. And now girls are also pulling up. So how you, can you see how how much of a mess this was, and all because one person couldn't say, "Homies, let us be stable, mm. let us sort this out," and then once things are running, you guys can come back, because now that setup led us to being getting evicted with the thousand niggas, because now the people in the neighborhood are like, "There's no way, there's twenty five niggas in there." They're selling drugs. The front opposite ladies he recorded that. He said that on the verse too, no? Yeah. The neighbors think I'm selling drugs or something. Now, the neighbors are recording us. You get what I'm saying? They're taking footage. Yeah. They're trying of to the sign petitions. Yeah. Mm, they're trying to sign petitions to get us out of here. Yeah, because but you niggas are in the burb though too. You feel me? You're in the burb, living in a house with 30 niggas. You and they me? all rap kids. And, and it's and, a corner house. And there's weed and... All sorts of shit going on. You get what I'm saying? So now, that caused a lot of tension. And that is, that 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 buildup is the buildup that led to the crew splitting up. Because now, in the house, so for what happened from there was, right? We got evicted out that house. Now, if you listen to songs, there was a time, bro, we had to be in a hotel room, like one hotel room, like seven niggas. Because yeah, yeah. now... Because now, the money's not the same anymore. Yeah. We can't get a house. We're living hotel to hotel. We're paying hotels every day. Yeah. Damn. Bro, are you hearing me? So, when is this <laughs> now? This is after the house, after we get evicted. Because now we squat deep. Yeah. Shit's not working out. Now we have to get out this house. Mm. So Why is the f- money not the same? Hmm? 
Why is the money not the same? No, the money was there, but it was not the same because now we had to feed everybody else. So mm. what you end up, so in a, let's say in a, in a month, right? Even if you do two, three gigs and you get money, but if you had mm. to take care of everybody, by the end of the month, bro, there's mm. no money to pay rent. I mean, with the hotel hopping and the seven niggas. Oh, no. Nah, the hotel hopping was that we were still doing gigs, but that we didn't have a house. Mm. So all we had to do right now is pay a hotel. Every single day. So we lived in hotels. There's no Airbnb we haven't lived in. There's no hotel we haven't been to. There's no guest house we haven't been to. Pretoria and Joburg. Yeah. Like, and that's how we ended up in Santon paying like almost like 100000 a month because we we're paying every day. And we had to get like um, two, three apartments in the cube. Like there's but a place called... What smart idea is this? Like, Bro, because you know why? It's we a get lot of us. and we're going to pay for hotels every day. But and and, and, and okay, also on geniuses. top of that, and also top of that, and also on top of that, right? Because now niggas can't go home. Because when you go home, is how, bro? We saw the motion. <laughs> you guys are making money. Yeah. So what are you telling us? We just signed the crib for you guys. Yeah. So what are you telling us? How are you telling us you back home with us here? Uh, yeah. Okay. You feel where I'm going with at this? The crib they've invested. How? They threw big bands. How? Besides throwing big bands, they gave you the paperwork. Mm. We had the bands to sustain everything, but you guys couldn't. So cool, fine, we leave. Right? Now we're paying hotels. Yeah. Cool, but bear in mind, we're still paying hotel squad D, bro. Yeah. That's the problem here. So, so it's we had to cut TWC down. And, and a few a niggas from a thousand de- degrees, bro, going to hotels like this, bro. God damn. <laughs> you playing games. Those niggas <laughs> playing games. Bro, if I had to sell the show on Netflix, we making money. Like what I'm telling you right now, <laughs> yeah. which was Word's idea was like, bro, if you guys had to sit down and really chop it up, like even here, I won't say a lot of things. Yeah. I can tell you that for free. I won't say everything, 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 because what really went down. Yeah. No, I'll tell you the truth, whatever you ask for sure. Yeah, yeah. But what really went down is that if you look at the story that we have, bro, it's really something that's golden. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you niggas had your moment. You feel what I'm saying? Until today, if you look online, people still want that thing to come back. Of course. People are fighting for it to come back because they never got the closure from it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So we're moving into hotels like that. It's not working out. So then we start cutting down guys. Yo, guys, please go home. Oh, so finally, so it takes for you guys to spend. Thousands and thousands <laughs> no, just starts- to be able to say, okay, guys, maybe go home. <laughs> he starts selling a few of his homies to go home. They go home. And then after this one last show, one night we slept in this one bedroom, all seven of us. Mm. We woke up and went to Deso. And we found our manager eating nice, eating pizzas and all of this thing. We're like, we were like, he also like, he's also, he knows as well. He's a fucked up nigga. He knows as well. He been- What you mean? He no. knows as well. He be, he be eating that boy's bag too. Like he- He's been dibbling Wait. in the bag too. He knows we had his, you know, I'm a real nigga, so I'm going to keep it solid. So yeah. he knows why he fucked up two at a point. And What's, you know. What you saying? He had some sticky fingers? Yeah, like just the numbers were making sense, you know, to, to, to how we could be struggling. And when we pull up on you and we just had Wrecking Eve, we had a whole show sold out. We pulled up on you, you and your mommies are eating pizzas. And living good. <laughs> and we, we've been starving since last night, hitting you up. Hitting you up. And you've been saying you coming. And when we come the next day to wherever you at, you yeah. you nice? Come. Was the bread coming through him? Yeah. So Dessa was handling all our finances. Like yeah. all the gigs coming through him. And then we'll just see. <laughs> Look at him hold his head. <laughs> Wait, you've said, so you said you guys have had this conversation with him? With yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I mean, that's how we had to cut ties with him, right? Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. But we went through, like, helpers scamming us, a lot of people scamming us. That's why even when people came to our house to offer us millions, the minute we heard we are going to manage your finances, we would all walk up and walk out the meeting. Yeah. Literally. Because now we just thought people are just coming at us just to try to manage the finances. Just so they can swindle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> swindle. Yeah. And now homies just left ambitious. They got trauma from there. Facts, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And I like we have our own traumas of being scammed. So now nobody's trusting anybody. Mm. So as soon as people came into our house, and no matter how good the deal was, if you told us you're gonna manage our money, we were gone. So you guys find Deso eating pizza. <laughs> and yeah. then what? 
<laughs> we find him eating pizza. Uh, you know the boy. You niggas lose your ah, shit. Ah, flame wilds out. Flame. He opens the box. He eats it. It's like nya nya sha nya. He eats it. The yeah, Flame is a wild card. <laughs> he eats it's a wild the pizza. Boy. He eats the pizza because he's like, what? No, there's no way these guys are gonna eat this while we work so hard. And you guys are here cooling. And we've been texting you since last night saying, yo, my guy, we have no food here. We are seven squat deep in a yeah. hotel room. This is like that, uh, what's the Ice Cube movie when he pulls up on them, they're having dinner. It's like, oh, you guys are living like and this here. Enough, people used to call us NWA, it was crazy. Yeah, like, oh, you guys are living like this here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you remember that scene? Yeah, it's like that scene. So imagine how angry you can get exactly, when you're pulling yeah. up and niggas are eating lobsters and you had a burger. But then in our end, we had no burger at all. We had nothing. Uh, mm. Cool So we pull up Damn. We, we wild out on the homie and, and you know what I hated about that whole thing Is that Most of the time when We were going crazy Owning the charts Most of the time We were homeless Yeah Homeless isn't like Going through a lot But nobody Actually yeah. knew that You know Just trying to make it by ourselves Not trying to be scammed By no record label Not yeah. trying to be scammed By no businessman Just trying to do it by ourselves Just trying to keep it together Yo bro Yeah But also at the same time You need the knowledge for that yeah, facts, facts, yeah. The you experience, need, you need You the need experience. the business side of things. Yeah. You need the knowledge for that, you know? Facts. So cool. We left. Um, so we, uh, sorry, are we at the whole pizza shandis? So now yeah. the boys like, my guys, me in Pretoria, I did what I had to do for a thousand degrees. I gave them the, the record. They lived with me. I played my part. Let me mm. dip. So that's when we made the decision to go back to Joburg. Yeah. So now a few of us went back to Joe, but the main niggas in, T- in so TWC. So cut ties immediately with Deso after the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. you guys are yeah. just like. No, yeah, we hopped this. in the Uber. We hopped in the Uber and just uh, drove straight to. Uh, so the Uber, you guys have to get two. Oh, uh, we got the the van. Oh, the Uber van. The van. Yeah, yeah. Watch time. out! Watch yeah. out! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we hopped in the Uber, went straight to Joburg. I remember as we were hopping, uh, the boy got. The money from PayPal, yeah, yeah all from, for the streams, for, for, for the for the music, for the music yeah, and yeah. stuff. So yeah, that's when we were able to now go to Joburg and see where we can start up, and then from there we started going on tour, and that's how we ended up like being able to sustain paying all these rents and hotels yeah. in Joburg because yeah. we went on tour. There was a less friends, more bands. What, tour. what was the tour? Sorry, what was the tour? It was a wrecking crew tour. So we mm-hmm. all went together and because the tour had A Reese on it, people wanted to bite on it immediately because you're getting A Reese, you're getting Flame, you're getting everybody else mm-hmm. for one bag instead of paying him a different bag and paying the crew a different bag. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Where did you guys where did you guys tour to? Uh Kimberly, Bloom, Durban, uh a, a lot of places in Joburg. Yeah. Uh it was it was it was nationwide, bro. Like we went everywhere, but it wasn't That's not the nation. But it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't like publicized like that. Like we went That's not the nation. Bro, we went man. the ends of Venda, bro. I, I don't even know where I've been, bro. There's no I can tell you this, right? I've been what's I've been to corners of the country where I thought I'd ever thought I'd ever see in my whole life with like TWC. Where? Like where? I can't even mention the place. I can show you the pictures though. I can show you, you can tell me where this at. I don't know, but it was very far out. Like, I'm mm-hmm. talking far out. I used to even call it the end of South Africa. Like, places I've never heard of, places I've never seen, it happened, bro. There's videos of this. It's not a matter of, you know, I'm making these things up. I feel you. <laughs> you feel me? I feel you. So, cool. Fine. The one nigga that pulls up from a thousand degrees after that when we in Joburg is Words. Yeah. Oh, he's from that cut. Okay, yeah. yes. Shout out Words. So, yeah. that's how Words was always in the cut. And that's yeah. how Words started playing a huge role in his music career as well with the boy as well. But he was always still recording since, you know. And 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 this thing affected a lot of people because don't forget, Words was in university and the boy told him, listen, leave school, we got this. <laughs> Come on, you can't put that, you can't say that about them nigga. What do you mean? That's how the chat was. You can't say he told niggas to leave school. What shit is that? Okay, if, if I'm capping, when Words comes here, when they had the discussion... Ask him what he said and what the boy said and what they ended up and where they ended up. Did he leave school? Yeah, he left. He left. Because the boy said he must leave school. Well, what happened then? That's why business. I feel you, yeah. What okay. happened then? 
What happened to you? I'm, told me? you. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm you just, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, they had a discussion. It was a very <coughs> deep discussion because his mom was not feeling him leaving school because Wills yeah. is a smart nigga. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Just like everybody else in that squad, but he was the only one going to varsity at that time. Yeah. So cool. They had a discussion together and Wills dropped out. Mm. And then now we had to take this serious now. Yeah. So that's how he had to pull up in Joburg and be with the boys and take the whole music career serious. Okay. Yeah. But you were telling this as this is how the crew broke up, but it sounds like the, the oh crew no, he, niggas started coming back. <laughs> Wait, so you broke up and then got back together? No, no, no. We broke up with a thousand degrees. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And moved us one man at CWC. Okay. So now from here on, we get in this house in the south. That's yeah. where now. That's where now people started singing outside our houses. People started finding out like these kids live here because you know what happened, bro, and it was all my fault. I won't even lie. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. It was an Airbnb house. Okay. I posted snaps. After I posted snaps, when I went online, there was a news coming out. Mm. The news came out and the news said, the wrecking crew just bought a mansion. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on ben the mind, Ben in mind, there's an Airbnb, bro. We got to be out in 10 days. Mm. So I was like, eh. Owner of the house, hello. How are you? Shop, mm. I just read something crazy right now. And if we don't make this happen, it might hinder the brand. Yeah. Cool. The lady spoke to us. She gave us, it was a 10 bedroom house, three story. She gave us a young 30 bands a month for it. Yeah. And then that's how we able to got to live in this house in, in the South. But because yeah. we're shooting a lot of music videos in it, a lot of supporters started seeing the house and they started stepping outside the house yeah. and now singing songs. But now, here's the crazy part. Because it's a big house, a thousand degree comes back. Damn. All those These niggas, niggas don't learn. Back. Like, uh, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> All those niggas come back again. Now, some niggas are not coming from, I'm going to keep it a hundred. Some niggas yeah. are not coming from proper backgrounds, right? So cool. No, no, no. Respectfully. Respectfully. So now yeah. things are things are missing in the house. You know what I'm saying? What Pe you mean? Like niggas is dirty? No, 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 no. Like oh. clothes are missing. Or oh, missing. I thought you missing. said messy. Missing. Missing. Like, oh, things are just come on. Nah. Now it starts causing conflict. Now when it's time to go to shows, niggas are forgetting their roles. So now Flame has a certain part where he sits in the bus. He gets a thousand degrees, nigga, sitting on the bus. He's like, yo, you're on my seat, David. Yeah. So like, now yo, what does that do? Out. So what, what does that now do in the crew? He's like, hey, this nigga's not feeling me. Yeah. Because now he just told me to get out of my seat. Get out, get out, get out. He's like, yo, I sit on the seat when I go to gigs, my guy. I'm the one going yeah, to shows. Yeah, this is me, yeah. But then also, his logic made sense. I'm the one going to shows, so why must I be squashed up and get to the show and be tired? Concerts yeah, niggas, I feel him on that. Concerts and niggas stay at home. But yeah. no, niggas will still come to shows. So the same niggas, a thousand degrees niggas, mm. would hop onto niggas' shows with them. Some niggas. So some niggas weren't okay with it. Some niggas were okay with it. And niggas were jumping on stage also and performing? No. Nah. Or just coming, off, just coming out? Yes, coming out. Sometimes niggas would get too excited and, and that would happen. And now... <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening... <laughs> That's wild, yeah. yeah, bro. And and now you know I'm I'm <coughs> I sh I'm sure you can easily tell even when Echo was here, bro. I'm really straightforward. If you did something, if you're yeah. about it, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be 100 about it. I can prove it. I can rip out my phone and show you everything that I'm talking about. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I have nothing to hide, and. You won't like me because a lot of people don't like niggas being straightforward. Yeah, that's a fact. I've experienced that yeah, as well. Bro, I, yeah, dog. I don't know if you've if you've actually. Uh, okay, like, let me leave it. No, nah, get in your bag. What's the <laughs> problem? Nah, like I've noticed this with a lot of Libras, right? Okay, Libras. Because I'm a Libra. Okay, right. And then whenever I come across like a lot of Libras, they normally don't have a lot of people that like them. Okay, you know. And I'm dating a Libra myself. And sometimes when I hear my girl talks back at me, it sounds so crazy. But I realize that that's oh, how I talk, talk. Yeah. as okay. well. And I understand why certain people can get, can get touched by it yeah. and end up hating me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
So cool, but back to the business. Yeah. So these niggas are in this crib. <laughs> yeah. Back again. Now Nick Flame is kicking niggas out of here. But you niggas got 10 bedrooms. It's all good. Uh you playing games. We six, seven, eight already. <laughs> yeah. Our DJs there. Uh, uh don't forget when I came to Wrecking Crew, I came with Echo. Oh yeah. Melo yeah, yeah. and Tiger. And Melo became the photographer, right? Melo was uh the boys um uh, photographer, personal yeah. photographer at a point, like going yeah. with him on the road everywhere, and also the cruise photographer. Yeah. And then I also came with our wrecking crew DJ, Tiger. Yeah, okay. So everybody that I came with was playing a role. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You're doing big business. That's how we moving forward, right? <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> yeah, get in your bed. That's how we moving yeah. forward, right? As people, you should. People, people that are here should be able to play a role. Yeah. Right? Thanks. Okay, cool. Free. Now we in this house. Oh, them niggas are back again. And shout out to them niggas. I got no beef with them. Some of, niggas, some of them niggas still hit me up today and I hold them down. What you, you know? mean? Hmm? What you mean? Like, like I said, they don't come from real backgrounds, like proper, proper backgrounds. Where yeah. by, like, you know, it's a bit of a disadvantage at home. But it comes, it's, 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 such, it's such a pressure because they don't talk to the boy anymore. So now they come to me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So if they're in need of help, of, of finance or anything possible or trying to shoot, they don't speak to him anymore. And bear in mind, these are friends that he introduced us to. Yeah. All of them don't talk to him anymore. But they got problems though, right? Huh? They got problems. Yeah, though, they right? got problems. But, yeah. but like, I came with these niggas. Don't yeah. forget when I split the crew, the boy told me things that these niggas were saying about me and then I switched on them. If yeah. you look at when the crew split, I was still... Uh, on Reese Effect, I'm Yeah, because you still lot. haven't told us how to... Yeah. <laughs> Shit. So, it's, the, the reason why the crew split, like I said, bro, the niggas came back. What happened in the house? There was a segregation. Yeah. Now, myself, Flame, Echo, and Miller, we're chilling in, uh, in Echo's room every day. We go out, we go buy our own things. We go start chilling in Echo's room. Oh, you start kind of creating your own little... Reese, words, this nigga, this nigga, they start chilling in their own... In their own in little the corner. House. In the same fucking house. Mm. From people who used to be in studio every fucking day together. Making records back to back together. Now the segregation is starting in the house. Now me and me and Mash were like, we stuck in between. Because now I'm here. I'm also here. Because I'm cool with both ends now. Yeah. But now both ends is not feeling each other completely. Now the boy and Flame start ignoring each other in the house. Now it's weird vibes now. Also it got weird between the boy and Flame. Yeah. In the house. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds like we are getting into the juice of how <laughs> this really happened. Let us take a quick <laughs> break to go pee because of all this water and we'll get into it. Flame and the boy are no longer. <laughs> <laughs> Come back on chopping it after the leak. <laughs> yes, sorry, Yo, all the word I was running through me. You know, there was a time I used to talk exactly like that. That's so crazy because <laughs> of your influence. That's insane. Come on, now. Nah. That's a whole insane. other chopping it episode. Oh, yeah, I won't yeah. lie, it is. So there's there's two <laughs> yeah, crews so the, now so in the, the house. Yeah, there's two crews in the house. The boy and. Um, flames start not seeing really eye to eye properly. What's the problem? I never actually got to understand the actual problem, and I think that will be for them to actually. They gotta get into that. They gotta get into that bag one day because we at an age right now where we could all be civilized and like doing a tour and milking the hell out of it yeah. and being civilized with one another. It's actually an idea that words spoke to me about. You know, if niggas were civilized and grown right now, yeah. but that's another story. But anyway, so they start uh, having tension in the house. So as they're having tension in the house, how? Flame starts hanging with Echo Melo every day, all day. Nobody else and myself. He wakes up every day. He wakes me up. We chill, we chill. He chills with the boys if I'm chilling with the other boys. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, and also another thing in the house is that me and Echo, I mean, me and Flame in the house, we're always like, like, like this, like this. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You'd always play around on me, always bother me, always talk to me about things, always would always be chopping it. Just like how yeah. we are right now, ever since like we reconciled. 
Yeah. I've been on Flame almost every day of my life. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Yeah. So the crew started ending up actually being two crews in the house. And now here's where the crazy part comes in. Mm-hmm. Do you remember during the TWC era, rubber band gang started popping out of nowhere? Niggas were calling themselves RBG. Yeah. That's well, I when, didn't know it was out of nowhere, but but okay. it is out of nowhere because how can you start a crew while when I saw that video we were in the house while we were still TWC and they had went out to shoot a music video and them niggas were calling themselves Rubber Band Gang. Wait, so they did? You guys hadn't split when the Rubber no, Band Gang no. came up. <laughs> when Rubber Band Gang came up, the video, the clip, the chat themselves, it was the boy, uh, Aries, Words, and a few a thousand a thousand degrees niggas, and I don't yeah. know who else. Yeah, and they had went to go shoot a music video. Oh, she said they were on the other side of the house <laughs> plot. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. But at this point, there's two crews in one house. Mm. And that is the reason why. But they're ahead of y'all because they're already shooting. They got a name. <laughs> they, they go crazy. You feel what I'm saying? And that, I, I don't want to go into the details of other things, but that is the main, main reason why the crew split. There was a yeah. segregation in the house. There were two crews in one house, which made it made, made it hard to live in that house. Yeah. Because now certain people are not seeing each other eye to eye. You know, I'm not okay with certain niggas as well. I wasn't okay with certain niggas as well from a thousand degrees because of their behavior and how they were moving. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm assuming then, obviously, them becoming official as rubber band gang makes it worse. And it's like, because that kind of makes it official that, okay, you we not what I'm y'all... I'm talking to the landlord. The landlord is like, yo, my God, there's like 2015 niggas in this house. Dip it. So niggas have to <laughs> cut down. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, Reese, dog. I remember I was at the bottom of the stairs. He was at the top of the stairs. I was like, yo, my nigga, Marcy tripping. The, the, the lady's name was, name was Marcy. I was like, yeah. Marcy's going crazy. He's like, hey, what must happen? The boys are here recording. I just told him that, yo, we have to chop down niggas in the house Mm. The landlord going crazy. He's like, yo, bro, I hear that. They will go. The boys are just here recording. The boys never left. Mm. Dang. So the crew ended up splitting just because of that. Because the boys never left? Because there were too many people in the house. Too many people didn't get along. Too many people felt like this is out of pocket because I can also call my cousins and friends to come live in this house and do this, but I'm not doing that. Yeah. So how are you doing that? When we ourselves haven't been able to be stable ourselves and solidify our position in the game or our position financially. Because mm. once we were solid, bro, that's when we can say, hey, let's bring in a thousand degrees. Let's bring in whatever because right now we we are good. Mm. But now if we aren't good, how are we taking care of the main guys aren't good? Yeah. How are we taking care of that ever extra hand? So what's the actual defining moment where it's like, okay... Fuck this, we can't coexist. It was when, uh, it was when, when we. <laughs> was, you said you was gonna keep it a beat. I am keeping it a beat. We got it was, you on it, tape. It was when it was. <laughs> it was <laughs> I am. Yo, they can see my eyes. I'm gonna keep it a beat forever <laughs> until Come I on, die. Now. Until I die, I don't care who hates me. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna speak my truth all keep the time. Stick. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. So when we took the studio mm. and not spoke to Flame. I not spoke to Echo, I not spoke to Melo because of certain fights in the house and we took the studio. We took everything, my guy. Yeah. We left those guys with that big ass mansion with nothing and we booked an Airbnb. Damn. Yeah. And we booked the Airbnb and uh, we were- So you became rubber band gang? Nah. I was still TWC at that time. I was just that right now, man. I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep it 100. So- yeah. Before the actually before that defining moment, yeah. there was a day all Reese and his boys were all downstairs, right? Yeah. In a room, in Tiger's room. They called me in it. They're like, yo, my nigga, your boys are talking shit about you, talking about Echo and Melo and them, telling me all these crazy things that they're saying about me. Dang. So I'm not even gonna speak about that here. No, right? of course. We yeah. don't need all yeah, that. Yeah, we don't need all that. <laughs> we don't they're need like, all yo, that. your boys are telling me all this crazy shit. About you, bro. So is this one thing true, bro? Is this true? I'm like, y'all telling oh, me damn. these niggas. And these are the niggas I came with. Mm. But now when I look at it, I was played. Damn. You know why I was played? Uh-huh. Because I didn't stick to the niggas that I came with and actually hear them out and I sit down with them. I just took this information here. Damn. And I started hating 
Echo, Melo, and Flamin looking at them different without even talking to them. Oh, so, so you're saying they finessed you out? That was finessed thoroughly. Whether these guys said it or not. So what? To take guys, you along? Because yeah. I was taken along. Yeah. I was probably one of the most featured guys on Reese Effect. Yeah. Why would that randomly happen if people are saying, yo, this is not the most solid guy in the crew? Why was I being featured like that if that's what you're reading? And mm. if you're going to go with what you're reading, if you look at his career, whatever people say, if they say the crew's a problem, he will move away from the crew. If they say this guy is a problem, he will move away from that. If they say this is a problem, he will move away from that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I'm feeling you. So now we took Pause. all of this shit. We went to Pretoria. And we also had crew money. So we busy spending crew money on Airbnb and we recorded and these niggas are left at this house. So y'all left nothing. who at the crib? Echo, Melo, Flame, and I don't know who else. Oh, so after that meeting, you yeah, guys... Yeah, because cause that, that night before, that night before... <laughs> yes, ice cold. Like, <laughs> yeah, because the night before, bro, the night before, that, that the same night when they were telling me things, yeah. we called down the meeting and Flame was, his girl, was with these girls so he couldn't make it. Yeah. So when we called down that meeting, bro, and we sat in that meeting, we asked niggas, we like, yo, so me, the boy, and everybody else, we like, yo, we got half of the rent money, you guys produce half the rent money, because now this segregation is starting in the house. So now oh, they're yeah, telling, yeah. they telling Echo and Flame and them to produce half the rent money. Yeah. So these niggas are like, what? No ways. These niggas step out, like, bear in mind, bro, I grew up with Echo. Nobody, he's stubborn. Like, yeah. he's Flame is stubborn, Echo is stubborn, Melo is stubborn. I'm also stubborn myself. These niggas don't want to pay that. They refuse. So we have a meeting. So when we have this meeting, we're like, okay, fine. If nobody's going to pay this rent, me, I can't sustain it. The boy says he can't sustain this house. I'm like, I can't sustain it as well. Mm. So what happens? We all got to move out. Mm. So by the next day, when the next day comes, that's when we took the studio and left. And yeah, went to but an obviously it's coming because you guys now have decided you guys are going to crucify these niggas for what they done. <laughs> you feel what After that saying? chop After that chop head, up the yeah. rent It's and like everything. yo fuck these niggas So we're like uh Screw it So we we go now Damn. So when we go bro Niggas Did the most craziest thing ever So because They felt like We had screwed them over And done them super dirty Which y'all did I'll take full you gotta accountability. Take that. Yeah, you gotta I'll take, I'll take full yeah. accountability That was That was dirty That was super dirty That was when you didn't even care of a person if they yeah. were going to be okay or not. Like, that was just selfish. Yeah, it's dirty. Yeah, it's super dirty. But you see, I'll be the first to say that. Yeah, I mean, you're keeping it a being. I respect that. Yeah. yeah, I'll be the first to say that. That's what yeah. we did. So when we came back to the house, the boys had moved out and left every single door of that house open for people to come in and steal. Right? <laughs> what do you mean for people to come in and steal? Bro, like, we got people robbed just twice. come to the house? What do you we mean? We got robbed twice because of that. No, so what happened was when we were gone sleeping at this Airbnb, they were angry at the house. Yeah, of course. But they moved out the house. They left the house. Yeah. And when they left the house, they left every single door, sliding door, every door, every window of that mm. house open. So you guys left and still left some of your shit? No, don't don't forget. We just going to an Airbnb for a oh, few days. Oh, you guys days. are just going to go live without them. We're going to go record... <laughs> Because now there's tension in the on house. On the crew budget too? Yo, Wiley. Yo, Wiley. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah. That's what happened that time. And also, the, the niggas just walked out and left everything. And you know what made it worse, bro? Yeah. That crew money at that time, uh, that uh, we were supposed to go on a tour, on a, on a varsity tour. It was supposed to be Flame's tour. And Flame was like, nah, homies. Told the people no ways. This is going to be a crew tour. So mm. I'm not going to do it alone. Let's do it. Do it with the crew and get a bigger bag. And days later, we find out from the guy who's running our bag that actually there was Flame's gigs. He switched up the flyers, removed Flame from the flyers, gave them other people's names from a thousand degrees. And then they took the bag as, okay, but Flame don't need to spend this bag when initially he was the one reason why we got that bag at that time. And when we went to that Airbnb, that was through Flame's hustle. Damn. Which made it worse, which I found out after. Damn. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? See, see, see crazy. how crazy they went? Cool, Damn. we come back to this house, my nigga. It's crazy. Melo left the slip out boots for him on my on my door handle. He put it there. Left like, the what? A, fuck you. <laughs> I, bought it, I had bought him slippers as a gift, right? Yeah. He took the slippers and put them on my door handle. 
and left them there. <laughs> As a young fuck you, all the doors are open, everything is lit. Okay, cool. Get in the house, realize the boys are gone, it's over. Mm. Now this is when now That's TW, literally how it breaks up This is how now There's nobody in the crib How it breaks up The next time we see the boys in them It's them coming to fish their music When they come to fish their music uh, Flame Because y'all had gone with the stool <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Exactly You see how it's connecting Yeah Yeah so we come back to the house And then they come back And they come in to fish their music When they come to fish their music It was a huge argument mm. amongst niggas A. Reese and mm. Uh, the the boy So you know what Flame just decided You know what I'm not gonna be Entertaining none of this I'm just gonna go focus And get my music They went upstairs They got their music And since that day Never saw each and other that was that And then that's how We started running As Drama Band Gang Yeah Yeah As me Reese Words it, So that That breakup was traumatic That's it was crazy insane. It was insane There's all the people involved They were doing crazy shit It was insane bro That's but like, crazy It was It was insane it was not okay. There was too many people involved. People's girlfriends were in their ears saying, yo, my nigga, you are mega alone. Let's dip. Let's dip homies. <laughs> Look, you really the boy. You Come really, on, go really, do it. You, everybody's girlfriend is telling them that. Of course, the girls are getting in there talking all that talking shit. Talking all that. So cool. Bro, we end up being now rubber band gang. And the girls are going on the nets also. They're getting involved on a crazy level. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> this is why, how we ended up being rubber band gang. saying... These niggas are fighting because I gave them cheeks. <laughs> Not even. But that's what they were saying on the yeah. deck. Bruh. But it was all cap. But that is the actual truth of how it happened. Yeah. And then and then I remember people thought I was the person who wrote that tweet saying Echo, Melo, all these flame are out of TWC. Mm. Yeah, there was also a tweet that came out with a TWC account oh. saying these niggas. Announcing niggas. As... Announcing niggas have dipped. You feel Damn. what I'm saying? So who pulled that one off? Uh, Tiger did press send on it. Yeah. On the t- send. On the tweet game. You niggas were on fire about each other at this stage. Yeah, we were. You just was, had lived together too long. Had yeah. Been through too much. Reese just dropped killers, dissing flame. Your career is at stake. It's shaking, my guy. Crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah. Now, people are still trying to call each other, but nobody's answering each other's calls. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So from there, we started being a rubber band gang. And that's how Reese Effect came about. And then we started pushing that. And then after that, we also split. There was a time where y'all bumped into each other, I think, at a show. And then hey. there were clips where niggas were trying hey. to throw heads. I was at the crib. You were not in that cut. <laughs> what? I was not in that cut? I had my own gig. Like, bro, that's another thing. Like, people may think, like, we don't gig at all. I don't post flyers. I will never post a gig. I will unless if you pay me to post it, mm. I will I will post your shit. So at that time, the boy had his own gigs. Yeah. So I had my own gig. So they come back in the crib. They're like, "Oh, you're probably gonna see tomorrow. The shit's gonna be trending." I'm like, "What am I seeing tomorrow?" They're like, "I don't think Flame was himself tonight." Hey man, Flame was himself. Yeah, Joe. That boy Tila died. Tried to fight with me. It was crazy. That's what you're talking about. Was when Flame they were- trying to fight or was he trying to squash it? He was trying to talk. Yeah. So now That's the, what it the, the, felt like. Yes. So now the boys started talking crazy. So now that's when Flame said, okay, what you gonna do then? What are you gonna do? Because yeah, so, the boy was going cause, bonkers cause, 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 cause he's like, yo, my nigga. Because Flame was saying, yo, let's talk. Let's talk. So they're telling Flame to get in the car. He's like, no, my nigga, let's, let's go somewhere else and talk. They're telling him no. So they're busy. They're on something. You get in. You come out. You get in. And then it ends up being a like squabble. Flame's girlfriend gets involved. And then the flame starts selling him on something. Okay, my guy, what are you going to do then? Mm. Like, I think I remember and Echo told, also being in the thick of it too. Yeah, Echo was there just trying to keep them apart. He wasn't talking crazy, I No, think. he wasn't talking crazy. If you look at the video, Echo and Melo at the back, just laughing, just looking at everything by themselves. <laughs> just like how they left right now. <laughs> just like how they left right now. Yeah. They were at the back, looking at everything, laughing. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what happened. That so, was crazy. Yeah, so... He felt like Flame wasn't himself that night, you know, and he felt very disrespected. And then he told Flame, he's like, you'll never forgive me. You f- you're forgetting that I used to feed you. I used to do all of that shit. Damn. So now, uh, Damn. So, so now his mommy starts wiling at him. So now they're busy telling Flame, yo, control your bitch. Control our service out. So now it starts getting heated. There's clips. It says yeah, the controller. Yeah, I saw that yeah. on the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're <laughs> right. Yeah. I remember like, that. I was like, like, what? Yeah, so now it's going up now. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So 
When he gets to the house, I'm at the house. He's heated. He's like, my nigga, fuck that. If I gotta be TWC one man, I'll do it. If I gotta be rubber bang, rubber bang gang one man, I'll do it. Yeah. But that's when between them two niggas, it was over with. That's crazy. Yeah. And then my relationship with him just after him and Mash had a fallout, yeah. we were still cool. But after him and Mash had a fallout, he just stopped talking to me because I was still friends with Mash. Okay. He just was like, I mean, my he nigga, needed I, you to choose? Bro, I was in the elevator. I, had, I shot a music video with Jody called Millie because me and Chris had a joint project. So we had the song called Millie. Mm. So we shot a whole music video for it. And I remember, dog, even after the crew splits and everything, me, Jody, Reese, and everybody will still talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can show this shit to you right now. As a matter of fact, I haven't showed you that shit, you know? So we see. I'm we... innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I can whip it out. Where's the camera? I can whip it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So uh, we were so cool. I was still uh, Jody would come to my place. I stayed after the crew split. I still stayed in Sandown with Gusto, the yeah. same guy. So he he called me up. He's like, "Yo, let's start our own record label." So the boy and Gusto and man should come visit me out there. Everything was cool. Mm-hmm. And then when they had their own fallout. He forgot the own rule he said Reese himself, which was like, yo, if two brothers get in a fight, we can't get involved. They have to sort it out themselves, even though we a crew. Yeah. Which made sense. That's good advice. Right? Mm. But then now, why can't you apply your own advice when you and Mash have fallouts? Why do we have to pick sides? Why do I have to get affected just because I still have to be friends? Just because I'm still being friends with Mash. Why am I being affected by that? Yeah. The last time I saw Jody, Jody was like, yo, my nigga, but you know what's going on between him and Mesh? And I'm like, yo, my guy, but he set this rule and this rule goes like this. So they have to sort it out. Yeah. And then since then, they stopped talking to me. When they stopped talking to me, Rick has come out on that blue cover where he says we treated his verses like souvenirs. So now he's dissing us. So now that's why I keep coming back to the shadow. In yeah, that feature- was what, the blue tape? Is yeah, what it was called? the blue tape. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah, the blue tape. In the blue tape, yeah. if you listen to records, he's still coming back at us. Yeah, he's going crazy he's going on you cr- niggas. <laughs> there we go. There, there's a guy right here. He's going listening. Crazy, on, crazy on us, right? Yeah. But how if we are being told to move on online? We're being shouted at saying, yo, guys, please move on. Okay. Our <laughs> records. <laughs> you need us a big shoe shoe. Yeah, we've been <laughs> being told, yo, guys, move on from this guy. Hello. If you listen to the records, you know he's the one. always favor the bigger guy. Exactly. But yeah. that's why I said I had to come out here and sort that out and clear that out because it's so unfair. Because when you hear to our records right now, we've moved on. Yeah. Niggas are not talking about him. He's yeah. still coming at us. So why is that? I think there was records where you were kind of t- throwing jabs or uh, something. I, when I heard the, the confrontation. Yeah. I'm like, my God, you weren't waiting for nobody to come to, to reach out to you. I reached out to you right now. After you stopped talking to me, after you stopped talking to me because of this whole match situation, I reached out to you. I know your pattern. I know how you are. I know you're going to address us on the feature. I know you're going to address us on the record. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. you're not going to tweet. But now you're sacrificing us for you to live good. <laughs> which now you already have your own homies that are already not living good. That we are helping out and you're not seeing the damage that you're doing. By saying mm. these things on these records that affect those niggas that literally have nothing to do with this. Mm. But because you're not being specific saying, hey, it's you and you and you, we all get in the stray. Yeah. Yeah, but he just expressing himself. He's been doing that for a while. Expressing what when you have already expressed yourself a long time ago and we over this? <laughs> About the new developments. What of the new story? developments? Isn't this nothing? <laughs> what do you mean? You just said he just split with Mesh and now split so with you. How so is Mesh involved record? with us, B? He stopped fucking with you, right? Sorry? He stopped fucking with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's how he involved you. He threw you in there. He's like, nah, fuck. No, if y'all fucking with him, then but, fuck but, y'all. But, but treating my verses like souvenirs is TWC time. We've yeah. moved over that. Yeah, well, he's talking about, you know. So how are, we being, how are people coming at us saying, okay, fine, you guys need to move on. It looks like he needs to move on. <laughs> I, I, that's fair. It, yeah, yeah. That's a fair point. If you, you, you're coming at us, your record label is called Revenge Club. Mm. Okay. Revenge with who? <laughs> yeah. It's no, coming for revenge. revenge. Okay, with who? With us? 
my guy, I make no I money. I'm gonna have to okay. sit him down here. I don't know. Let me tell you this. Yeah. I make no money from all the music we made in TWC. Mm-hmm. I'm not even registered on the songs. Yeah. What does that mean? Break it, that down. What do you mean when you're saying that? It means the money that he's making from all those streams of all those records. Mm-hmm. There's every project that is on the chart right now, Reese Effect, uh, like songs like Come On, all of that. I'm on those joints. I receive no cent from it. I received nothing from it. I've let you go. I've moved on. Yeah. Nothing from the TWC catalog? Nothing from the TWC. I can show you right now. And other members? Other members, Echo had to fight for his. And he only got L3. I just spoke to Words right now. Words has never seen a cent from L3, Mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest projects ever. They went hit to toe with Touch My Blood at that time when it dropped. We were dropped in the same time with Touch My Blood. Mm -hmm. I remember. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas are not eating off of that. So since well, that's the case, move on. You've already got all the money of everybody's sacrificing efforts. And if we had to be right, everybody deserved a split. But we've moved on and we saw it as how the setup was at that time. So there's no way this could have been souvenirs because you clearly the one making money out of this. <laughs> but I mean, I guess when he's saying that, he's saying his verses were the gold of the music. No. Everybody in TWC played a huge part. Without TWC... Without, without, I mean, of course he shit guess on what? y'all. Guess what? Guess what? Yeah. He thought he could be TWC one man. He let everybody go. Was it possible? He's Reese. TWC, was it possible? He said he was going to be at one man. As soon as we left, as soon as these two faces left, my nigga, I can tell you right now, the gig stopped. What do you as mean? As soon as Flame, Echo, Melo left the wrecking crew at that time. Mm. Us as the wrecking crew, the gig stop, and that's how we even started going into debt as the wrecking crew, and we had to switch it. Uh, yeah, things but up. his didn't though. Sorry, his gigs didn't stop though. You saying his gig stopped? No, I'm saying as the wrecking crew, because he always thought that even though he's still in the cut, the wrecking crew won't get affected. Well, that was a lie because after they left, we got affected by it. Yeah, so me, he left as well. No, he was still there. That's how I still pushed Rubber Band Gang. Remember? Oh, you're saying that. Yeah, but that, oh, so you're saying rubber band gang? No, I'm saying when TWC left, yeah. when I mean when the sorry when the niggas left TWC, yeah. he had still said he doesn't mind being TWC one man, and he will, and he's like, we will be fine as a crew. And I'm letting you know, as a crew, that didn't happen because those faces were important. Yeah, yeah, facts. that's what I'm yeah, saying yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear which that. is what he forgot and what the people forgot, and that's why till today, with all these niggas. As however they may be, there is no TWC. Yeah, but then he he, just, he was able to do Revenge Club Records, which you were a part of. No, kind of. I was rubber band, uh, a rubber band gang, oh, right? Oh, yeah. So, you you see? Oh, so it's rubber band gang after, and, and, then, and then that broke up. You feel what I'm saying? And don't forget, and also, when people were saying, no, these brothers went beefing, whatnot. My nigga, there was a time there was Lean Team. You remember Lean Team? Damn. When it was both Flame and benchmarking them. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's a Jody's name, there on the record saying the homies, <laughs> where is the money? He's there rapping, saying shit like that to <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Asking us, and that time I'm with his brother. Y'all did take the money though, and what do you mean? What money did I nobody get in the money? You did say y'all took the crew money and booked Airbnb and y'all went crazy. No, but he wasn't he wasn't in T dub at that time. Benchmark wasn't there that time. That's but he's the, in flame now talking that shit too. That's how it goes. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. They yeah. were they were dissing us. Yeah. And that and goes. And y'all were dissing them. Nah, I didn't diss lean, lean team, bro. I didn't even look at it like I didn't take yeah, it serious. Don't nothing, no uh, I, I didn't take it serious. At all. What is that? You know we're gonna go back and jam these records. Yeah, go go and jam my records. The only person that I came out on records is Reese himself. Mm. What what are you saying? So how did Rubber Band Gang break up? What happened? Uh, with Rubber Band Gang, my guy, I won't even lie to. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's when we had to move out the house, my nigga. This thing gets so crazy. You not ready, my nigga. I had to go <laughs> home for two months. I come back to this house. I'm hearing that no, we just bought a house. You know, I'm like what? They're like, yeah, we just paid a bank to fix our papers. We're moving into this new house. Mm. A week later, I'm being told, hey, the guy we paid, all that crazy bad, escaped with the money. Damn. What? Damn. They're like, yeah, the guy we paid to fix our papers in Net Bank dipped with the club. Scam niggas. Shit. Okay, cool. Freak, what happens now? <laughs> I walk in a crib. 
I see the boys' mommy there with huge, like, the, the, the biggest laundry, laundry sock. I don't know, even know what to call it, right? Yeah. She got this huge thing with clothes in it. I'm like, oh, laundry? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to laundry right now. Oh, okay, cool, P. Dips. Shop. I'm in the house, cooling with the homies. I just got back. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They catching me up. That's when I, uh, they were doing fire in the water and I record my verse on They Say. Yeah. I literally recorded my verse when I touched down. Yeah. I was f- from coming home because I had to go cleanse. Fire in the water was Yeah. Fire, you know? I had to go cleanse and quit weed and quit cigarettes and quit oh, okay. all of that. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I was like, yo, these pimple games are not working out. It's not working out. I got a dev the lean. <laughs> yeah. So, I left all of that and I came back clean to the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was even skinny. I was fresh. I was ready to run. You're I'm thinking, back on your shit. I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, we've got a run game. Oh. Yeah. Zero. As soon as I'm in the house, fine, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. watch out. You're going to have to. <laughs> yeah, we're going yeah, to have to. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll please. take care of that. Yeah, yeah, take care of that. Yeah. So his girl is downstairs with all of this. She's like, no laundry. I go upstairs, cool, pee, shop. As I'm inside the house, I see everybody. I highlight everybody. They tell me, no, we lost the, the house that we're supposed to move in. Secretly, the boy and his girl found a house and they move into this house. And that's where they're taking the, the clothes. The laundry. He's not ta- the, the laundry. That's where the laundry's going to Bryanston to this house. God damn. So, so, so I'm in the house. I'm in the house thinking, oh, shit, we're going to figure things out. Things are going to get there. Everything is going to be P, sharp. You know what's so crazy even? I'll never forget this day. I'm in the studio. He's sitting right there. He's like, yeah, my boy, just get the paperwork to get the house. I'm like, oh, I must get the paperwork to get a new house. He's like, yeah, for sure. Get the paperwork to get the new house. Cool, fine. The next day, a truck pulls up. A big ass truck. Yeah. Coming to fetch the boy's furniture. Hey, what? Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not even asking yet because I'm thinking... If you are moving and if you are my friend, you are going to tell to me, you, got, you are going to come to me and say, my boy, listen, right? I found a spot for me and my girl mm. and Mash. Yeah. You oh, were gonna, took Mash with him. Yeah. Oh, you, of course, he... He's the producer, right? Yeah, he's got to be there for, for right? him to go crazy. Yeah. Bro, so niggas are having separate meetings with him and his DJ that also left him as well. They're all having meetings at that time. So niggas are having meetings, separate meetings away from us. Mm. So fine I then start to figure out I'm like Oh guys So this nigga's moving out mm. They're like Yeah my nigga This nigga This nigga's definitely moving out He then The day he moves out He just goes Doesn't say bye to me Doesn't say bye to anybody Cool fine Mesh What the hell going on bro I corner Mesh right now I'm like Ain't no way You about to about Fuck to around like And not But to tell me What the hell going on here yeah. Man, she's like, hey, my nigga, the boy got a place for for his girl and me. And they got me a bed. And he's telling me to go live out there with him. Yeah. I'm like, man, so you're going to do this? Uh, man, like, got to do what he got to do. Yeah, for real. Like, I'm being honest. He's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, my boy, what must I do, boy? Like, mm. you know, you get what I'm saying? Even me, don't worry, bro. He even told me, he's like, even me, bro, from that spot, because I understand how crazy this looks, I will also move out of that position <laughs> and get myself my own spot once I'm, once I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I told Mesh I looked Mesh in the eyes And I'm like Hey my guy <laughs> I will respect you forever For telling me this I love you with all my heart Shout out And that is why When yeah. I had to choose Between him And the boy There was yeah. no way I was gonna forsake someone Who had the balls And the guts And the respect And the decency To come to me After everything We've been through mm. You can't tell me You're moving out So Didn't Didn't tell just you Or Told nobody. Bro, Who else bro, is I, out there? I, I, everybody was out there. It looks like niggas didn't know. And he also left his friends there. So there was another nigga he left there. That's the nigga that ended up living with me. So I was like, I right, cool. I ain't got no paperwork. I can't go to my family. I've, I'll, I've, I've used all resources. Right now, I'd be the most idiot guy to go to my family. And they're going to tell me, what did I tell you about friends? I can't do none of that. Yeah. I've been outused. I've been outsourced. It's done. They, they've... They've they rinsed me. You. Yo, they finished me. I'm, I'm, I'm depleted. I have nobody call. I'm not going to call anybody. I tell my girl, I'm like, Damn. Hey. Yeah, bro. That's what happened to me. Damn. I tell my girl, I'm like, yo, listen, right? I don't have paperwork on me right now. Can I please use your paperwork? Let's get an apartment. So now I had to 
from the way I used to live and how my life used to be, I was in the most tiniest apartments of all time. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> of all time. Of all time. Oh, I couldn't believe that was me. It was happening Damn. in real time, bro. It was in Kibla Park. Dog, me, I was living in Kibla Park. You guys know Kibla Park? Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. To the choppers <laughs> in Kibla Park. Respectfully. Yeah, to the choppers in Kibla Park. I respect y'all, but I was out there. Yeah. It's not your type. It's cut. not my type because my nigga, my anxiety was everywhere, my nigga. Like I was starting to lose my mind. I was starting to yeah. lose it all because I couldn't believe this was. But also, you've been through a lot. You go and through... I've also been through a lot. Yeah. And here I am. I'm at the bottom of the bottom. Damn. And you got all the fans going crazy on you, saying "shut up." Saying "shut up," nigga. You, <laughs> you're the reason why niggas is out here. So now he, ha- Chris. I'm left with Chris and my girl and his girl. Mm. So Chris is like, yo. The boy, um, X found a spot. All I need is 1.5 from you to fetch my bed from Pretoria. And then, because I told Chris, yo, listen, I got the spot. My mommy gave me some paperwork. I'll pay. When I just pay whatever you can mm. until we are stable. Ah, uh, my guy, they holler at the boy. Mm. Just gave at least a 1,000 or 1.5. For, for the homie to oh, fetch yeah, his just bed. to not let niggas die. Yeah, so he, he hollers at him. Uh, the boy told him straight, uh, me, I don't have the money. Mm. Okay. Damn. Damn, this is deep. <laughs> Get Damn. what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, cool. And bear in mind, niggas were left in that house eating porridge every day. There's no food. There's just nothing. Mm. It's just crazy for niggas. Mm. Ain't so, nothing wrong with eating porridge, by the hey, way. Hey, definitely something wrong if you're eating it for lunch and dinner. I feel you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, it was lunch and dinner. What, hey, nigga? What niggas been through at that house when I came back and the things that I heard, <laughs> and the things that I also went through and I saw. Horror bro, stories, bro. Do you know today I'm allergic to bread. Yeah. I'm allergic to eggs. The yolk part of an egg. I'm allergic to rice. Yeah. Why do you think that is? You ran through it. <laughs> Too much. To such a point when I went to the doctor, because <coughs> my, my skin was started reacting, but then at that time, I had to live off of bread or live yeah. off of eggs or just Yeah, live. the egg and bread uh, diets when it's crazy, when it goes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, for real. It becomes the main Yo, meal. It becomes yeah. everything. And you're excited I, for it too. Just you for feel the sour to see, you know, <laughs> just to catch your young. <laughs> just to change the dynamics inside. It was crazy. It was insane. <laughs> Hey, you guys are playing games, bro. Crazy. So fine, cool. I'm now in this apartment with Chris. So he, uh, the boy dev him. So my 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 brother has a, a a furniture company. So he has trucks. So I was able to be like, yo, my nigga, please handle me a truck at a cheap cost, mm. and then I can hire this truck and get the boy's bed because homie's struggling. Mm. And then that's how I left Rubber Band Gang because we had the boy had left the house by himself. And then, bear in mind, also there so was the no- boy left rubber band gang by himself, just mm. with his mommy, uh, Mash. They left, went to Branson, and then the crew was still there, bro. The crew was still there. Rubber band gang was still there. Niggas just still chopping it up on WhatsApp, iMessage, and Instagram. The crew yeah. was still there, but that's how it's still releasing. Nah, from there it was over. Oh, it just became a WhatsApp group. <laughs> and then from there we started catching on. Eh, the homies aren't hitting us up anymore for gigs. <laughs> the homies aren't hitting us up anymore for everything. Mm. Then from there you start catching on that, okay, fine. There's nothing anymore. Mm. And then I, I Oh, y'all thought you were still going to hit you up like from the other group. Uh, we thought, bro, it was business just like how it was in T-Dub. But it wasn't. So he focused on himself. That's when I focus on myself as well. So now Chris lives with me. That's when I dropped uh, the project. Uh, I joined a double uh, a joint project with Chris, actually. Yeah. And that's how it came about because he was living with me and we had just come from that. Yeah. So then after a certain time, family starts to see who, eh, X doesn't have that motion. Yeah, it's, it's, the motion is not motion. Yet. Yeah, because they can see online. Bro. Mom is on Twitter. Now, niggas, my family's on Instagram. They support the shit. Yeah. Like, they, 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 they peeping. They, they may not a tweet. It. They may not tweet or anything. They seeing what's happening. They see what, eh, no, wherever yeah. this kid is, is struggling. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? So they reach out to me. Gusto reaches out to me and he's like, okay, fine. You know what? We're going to start this record label together. You'll come to go down like this. 
like forget about all of that. <laughs> yeah. Then when I started having motion, that's when I started chilling with the boy again. Which boy again? Reese. This is after Rubber Band Gang. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> after so all of that. Squash then. After all of that, we squashed all of that. We're like, okay, fine. It's you know what? It's cool. So I looked over you it. Took it on the chin. I took. I'm like, you know what? Damn. I took it over. I'm like, you know what? That's dog? a strong chin. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's why right now I don't have That's none a of that. Social chin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why right now I ain't got that because I gotta take. The, I gotta get slapped again for the third time. No ways, bro. I'm hearing that. Yeah, I can't get slapped again for the third time. Mm. I, I trust people easily. I take big risks, and then I saw the outcome of it twice. So I'm mm. not about to, even if we had to go meet today and be civilized, which is what I want for everybody else out there. Because all yeah. of us today that were anti dubsy are mm. all cool, bro. Okay. All of us, I try, I try. You guys have all made up. Bro, I go to MASH, I get spoiled so much, I pass out every time, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Flame spoils me so much, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. You feel me? I speak to words, we chop it up, it's crazy. All those people, we all good now, besides one person. Mm. And all of them don't talk to this one person. And all of us, still one person. Yeah. Not that we don't hate him. We don't hate him at all. Yeah. The love is still there. As a little brother, you messed up. You fucked up. Yeah. Take accountability. You kill me when you start doing the little brother uh, shit. He is. Because I remember, I, I used to pull up to him. I used to pull up to him even in the house when he was wilding with no ways. Like, what? No way, little What are you bro? saying? Yes, bro. I hear you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if niggas, when niggas buy face around you, shout out, God damn, what's bro, bro beans? Bro beans? Yeah. Oh, That's hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, he messed up and he's acting like he didn't mess up at all and we did. So which is what I don't like. That's mm. why I'm right now, like you said, I had that chin. Right now, I don't have that chin because mm. I'm older now. I saw everything for what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So what makes you want to say all this? Like, what's the motivation? Because people are going to watch this and it's going to be like, ah, it's... The so, motivation is... You know is, they're going to down... They're going to try to talk down on you. Even if they try to talk down on me, the truth is out there. I can prove it. I can back it up. Whatever I said about paperwork, I can back it up. Yeah. Whatever I said about the house, I can back it up. Yeah. Whatever I said, like my... What makes you want to tell this truth, though? The, the reason why I want to tell this truth is because, look at it this way. We got to be hindered by this story yeah. because people never got the truth. Yeah. So people started blaming the wrong people. So yeah. people, before they even listen to my songs, they have that mentality of, oh, this is the guy that split that crew. This is the guy that did this. This yeah. is the guy that did that. And not even going to my music and giving it a clear ear and yeah. say, wow, the boy is fire. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. And that's why I'm doing this. Yeah. Because also there's other niggas in the hood that are still being affected by what that nigga's doing, whereby he can come it out, he, sorry, he can come out, clear it out and say, guys, listen, I don't have problems with those niggas unless he really does. Mm. Then if he, he is, then let's go, let's get the smoke done. Like, like, bro, we can meet up anytime. If you want the smoke, you can get the smoke. If you want it to be sorted out like with respect, let's sort it out with respect. Mm. But let's stop going at each other on music because right now, hip hop doesn't need that number one. Facts, yeah. That's we are fact. the people that Kids used to look up to us. And after, like I said, after we split, like a lot of disarray in the game was happening. Yeah. And he's forgetting that we had to stay loyal to him. And when we stayed loyal to him, we didn't work with a lot of artists in the game because he wasn't oh, working yeah, with a lot yeah, of artists yeah, yeah, in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't want to work with a lot of artists in the game. We got yeah. hindered by that. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? We, yeah, look at it. It's yeah. there too. It's there. I, like, bro, before I even met him, I was close with Stilo. I was close with Heavy K. I was close with all these people. Yeah. And then when we started that crew, bro, I lost everyone. Mm. I lost yeah. everyone. Because of that, we don't take... Because of Arabi the phone. Yes, because of how he Arabi moves. Arabi the phone knew. Yes, because of how he used to move. Yeah. That's how we used to move. People Yo, used to... proud of that too. Yes, at that time, we're like, what? We on fire. We running with this. <laughs> but then now, <laughs> now look at it, what the damage he it, it used to do. That's your camera right there. <laughs> Look into the camera and apologize for that motion. <laughs> oh, oh no, my brother. I I will not apologize. I know why. I I picked up. I shook niggas' hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's stories, my nigga, that people are right now <clears throat> bigger, bigger, way bigger mm. that niggas didn't shake hands when niggas were reaching out trying to shake hands. Yeah. 
Those people right now, that niggas didn't shake their hands, they are way bigger right now. And that's when niggas should know that life is long. If you think you're on fire forever, my nigga, you're going to wake up tomorrow, you're going to see flames. Like, you're going to see the realest flames. If you think right now, you're running South Dar, it's you. You will wake up tomorrow and you will not is be that, that yes, guy sir? anymore. Oh, y'all want to clap for that? <laughs> you will not be that guy anymore. I promise you. I promise you. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. You will not be that guy anymore. So, you know, go back. That's why I went back. That's why these guys are here today because I went back. Yeah. I had to go fix my shit. Mm. I'm going back right now to niggas in the game to go fix my and shit. And some grown nigga shit. Yes, yeah. I have to. Yeah. Because I was stuck in a bubble and now this bubble has costed me. Yeah. Fact. Fact. Yeah. It has, I can it has relate cost, to that. I can it has costed me a lot. Mm. Whereby right now in my life I could have been far as a solo artist. You get yeah, what you could have put in all that effort into with all your those features. Shit. When the boy said, "Guys, we're no longer dropping music anymore," none of us dropped. It hindered our careers. When he said he's not working with this person, we always respected that because we were loyal to him. Yeah. But now look where it put us today. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? These weren't our decisions. This yeah. was us being loyal to a friend. Mm. Yeah. Everybody knows in the game that they try to call him. They can tell you. I don't want to mention names, but they can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I tried to call him too. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He picked up though. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie all the time. Come on now. Why, <laughs> why you got to do that? <laughs> he got to pick up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Respect hey, me. Oh, hey, I know what's up. Bro. I know what's up. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. I know what's up. So even if people try to crucify me, at least it's for the truth. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. So you... Right now, you I, you good? I might, I'm you good. You got it off, yeah. Because <laughs> I was not gonna tweet all this a day. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't crazy that day though. Yeah, I had to because yeah, also you, the you disrespect, had to the disrespect they had on TWC was also crazy. I like, understand I that. Couldn't believe it. I've been, I could not believe it. I've been in that pocket also where I've been through years where I let the disrespect fly, and then I'm like, nah, actually, fuck this, bro, and then. Let's be honest. Look at my character online. Have you ever seen me wild out like that? Yeah, ever? Nah, it's not your shit. That's not my shit, bro. But I had a breaking point. I was it's like, just your what? baddies that wild out on your behalf. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the baddies wild out and say some crazy things, but me do that? No, bro. That's yeah. why I had to get it done. And I'm actually thankful that you actually reached out about this whole chopping up because yo, I, I don't know what I would have done because now I know when it comes to the record, people don't even want to listen to us anymore. They would rather go listen to the big guy and what the bigger guy is saying and yeah. they run with that story. So how do you guys get out of that hole? Which hole? The They don't want to hear us because they want because of oh, right that now, whole thing. Right now, we lost a lot of fans that were his fans, which was good because right now we're gaining our fans. Yeah. Like people that like my music for me and not because I'm attached to someone else. Yeah, that's dope. I've seen you've got a, a fan base of yeah. your own. Like when you, you feel what I'm saying? Out, yeah. You got people posting your shit I got people posting I got, I got comments. I got like yeah, this motion. Active, yeah, this yeah, motion. Yeah. There's something happening years that's later. Dope. You feel what I'm that's saying? Dope. By myself. And by the way, I'm the only nigga mm. that never asked for a Reese feature throughout the TWC era. If you look at all my projects, I don't have that. Yeah. In my projects. I don't have that. What does I, that mean? What do you say? It, it means say? it means I saw what that feature came with, and mm. I didn't want to be behind that shadow because I really was dealing with it in the crew. So mm. now imagine all my projects and all my records. Then every time when I would produce my numbers, they were gonna say, "No, man, it's because of." I hear now you. I can show you my numbers because of me. Mm, I saw you put out. Uh, you got some nice numbers. I you think. feel what I'm saying? And it, those numbers, They're streaming. Shit. Bear in mind that the highest uh, number, uh, the highest song on 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 those streams is 200k. And if you look at my iTunes right now, all the songs with the boy are way bigger. So it means if I was registered and if they had done right done right on their end, what you saw there as a number as plays would have been way up to gang millions. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It would have had more than that. It what? It would have counted Yes, all my features are not too. there. All my features are not there. It's just literally me, bro. Damn. Yeah, bro. So even right now, I can't walk into offices right now because he still can't fix that. I can't say, hey, guys, these are my numbers. Can I get this deal mm. and do this? Because... I'm still going through this. You got to grind it out. But that's why I'm grinding it out and saying, my guy, you know what? I'm letting this go. Don't mm. even register me. Don't even give me royalties. Don't even give me no stream money from it. Let me build my own thing. Because yeah. I thought what was the general relationship wasn't 
Y'all were just using me for whatever that is that y'all needed. And now that it's gone, I can see it for myself because, okay, fine. I'm cool with everybody else but you niggas. Mm. I was going to ask you that, like, do you, looking back at all this, like, and... Oh, I was used the, for sure. The resource I was used for sure. You know what? What hurt me the most when Mash told me that the reason why I was actually... I'm sorry, Mash, to put you under the bus, but it is what it is. It's the mm. truth. He told me when uh, TK was talking about me, they were talking about the fact that I got resources and I got money around me and it'll mm. be able to help. And He kind of said it that way yeah. though when he was here on Chad. Yeah, but he didn't... Well, he didn't like, of course he is he not going to... He didn't put gonna, it direct because Mash yeah. is a beautiful guy, beautiful He's heart. a good nigga, He's yeah. a good nigga. Also, He's not going to... Also, it's not like it was his idea. Yeah, it wasn't his idea. So, so it's not it's not for him to be... You yeah, know. it wasn't for him. But he did say... It was, yeah, niggas did suggest that we get X because X was resourceful. You he feel what I'm saying? He put it that way, yeah. But then now it goes to show that there was no genuine friendship. I was just literally used for that. That hurts. I gotta live with it. It is what it is. That hurts. Like though. I grew up with I grew up with parents always telling you to watch out for your friends. And right now I'll tell everybody out there, like whatever your parents say about friends, please believe yeah, that. That's a fact. Like I, I will I've tell been you doing too. Like, Facts. I, like, Facts. Like, like I will tell you for a fact, please <laughs> listen to your parents on that. Yeah. Cause that's the only thing I agree with when it comes to parents. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all the other stuff, they old school. They know that too. Like, they time is gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. But when it comes to this, bro, they know what I... I, I, even, I also had friends that I gave a name, that I fed, that I clothed, that turned their back on me. Yeah. Like it was nothing. And and to let it slide and let people like bash you and make you seem like you're the bad guy when you're not is what makes it hurt even worse. You know what it I'm saying? Because you could have came out and cleared the air for the boy and let the boy live his life properly. So it's yeah, like you're enjoying you this. You could have got me out the yeah, mud. Yeah. yeah, but it's like you're enjoying seeing me go through all of this. Mm. For what? Because you can see I'm trying to push my yeah, own nobody thing. nobody pulled me out the mud. I, I had to pull myself out the mud. Yeah, that's why I'm like, you got to grind it out. And that's why I'm pulling myself out the mud. Get in there. And the people don't know, but I do a lot for the game, bro. Like, like I, don't, I won't even like get you. And, like, I reach out to niggas. If you're talented, I reach out to you. And I'm like, yo, my nigga, listen. I can do one, two, three for you. I'm telling Tim what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Tim nah, what bro, you got. Nah, bro, I can got. put you in rooms where if you need funding or if you need something solid, all you got to do is have an idea and you solid, you will... Talk. Most of my deals are not even... There's nothing to recoup. There's nobody I'm paying back. Mm. That's fire. You feel what I'm saying? There's nobody I'm paying back. That's people fire. Understand, people understand that, hey, dog, this could go far. And once this goes far, it can cover not just him, but people around him, whether it's family, whether it's... You know, yeah. so it's like giving me an opportunity to a better life. Yeah. So I always don't take it for granted. That's what I'm saying. If you got ideas and you think this needs funding, I can put you in the room and say, my guy, here, pitch what you got. He gave for it. He got yeah. the bag. He gave for that. it. Like, Go yeah. talk. And then, yeah, you do your thing. Yeah. I did that with his friends as well. Benchmark. When Benchmark was not part of the crew, I did that for them. Mm. Uh, his DJ had a, a label called Young. Yeah. He hit up my bro and he got to get funds and have his label young produced. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it goes beyond just me. Yeah. I will I will help whoever's around or whoever I know. So That's that, dope. That's a dope spirit that you've had throughout your, your yeah, whole Yeah, I've had this spirit my whole yeah. life, bro. That's Even fine. if you know... like, And don't let that die because of what you've been through. Hey, I won't lie. Because that's the <laughs> toughest not, part. But and right now I'm an asshole. Yo, you see you, I can, yeah, me, me and you, like, I've known you for a long time, so it's like, it's okay. But if other niggas are hearing my ear, I'm not hearing it. I hate <sighs> niggas right now. It's so bad. I feel you. It's so bad. It's I so tough, you. bro. Because don't forget, I had that character of, I support whoever. So people took it as, I don't have a backbone. So they mm. would just play on top of my yeah, head. They just start playing with you. Yeah, yeah I know and that too. They just, mm. just start playing on top of my head and thinking, oh, no, X is just going to buy it. He just likes clouds. I don't like clouds. I don't even want to be famous, bro. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Me and Echo been on TV since we were 16. This is not new to us. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we don't care about this, bro. Mm. We care about the money. Yeah. Wealth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bag. The bag. None have you them. have you healed though? Oh, goddamn. Huh? You healed though? You still going haven't. through it? I'm still going through it, but I'm not putting it on records. That's why I talk about it. Because I don't want to rap about it. That's why I'm not even dropping music right now. Because if I drop music right now, people are going to be like, oh, it's he's, he's back, back at it, yeah. going there. And hip hop doesn't need this right now. I'll come back at it. Right now, piano is like a horse, right? Yeah. One leg is down. We need to take three legs down. Mm. Why we gotta take their legs down? Huh? Why are we taking their legs down? Let me tell you why we're taking their legs down, because we gotta be like this so that everybody can eat. 
Yeah, but that means we just got to put our legs up. That's what we're doing by taking their legs down so that we can be equals. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> We just got to level up. Yeah, which is once their legs are down, they're looking at us in the face like this. Because right now, their legs are up. And we're looking up to them, right? That's why we got to level up. Or we can take their legs down and we look at to them like this. Like, but then that up. means we all just down here. No, we up. It depends on how you look at it. We ain't going nowhere. We just brought them down. Okay, let me say this. Let me fix their leg and get our legs up to make you feel better. Cool? Yeah, as long as we're going <laughs> up. I just want to go yeah. up. Bro, I I listen to piano. I listen to this, but I will not. Facts. I will not. I will not shy away from competition and say it how it is. These niggas, hip hop things like you like we, as hip hop, we may think like you we know we're we booming compete. right now, but let's go. Yeah, let's go. You feel? Yeah, what I'm now saying? we gotta compete. We gotta compete. And these yeah. guys, you know what I told niggas? I'm like, dog, piano people sing, they rap. So they why can't you feature these niggas on your hip hop joints? Yeah, facts. That's that's how they said the. Combination worked out, but I said this like Afrobeat type, like right? Yeah, but I'm saying that's how that oh, that's combination it. worked out. I'm, I'm, because I'm, I'm, he took I'm, a nigga from the Yanos and he, oh yes, but I want them to do that in hip hop because those guys are really talented. I think Slick is is busy with that right now. Yeah, that's fire. Sorry to put your business out there, but <laughs> y'all, that's fire. Bro. So he's gonna have some fire shit yeah, coming. That's fire. I know I know piano guys, so it's not like I would hate on them. You know, yeah. I have records with Fokker. And shout out to Fokker. That's one. That's one guy we know still uh, doing hip hop. I have a record with him with DJ Smoke. Yeah. And that's one guy till today. He's still normal. Still hugs you like back in the day. Still chops yeah, it still up like back in the back in the day. Yeah. He's definitely a real one. Yeah. Still. I respect him for that. And yeah. that's the nigga. That nigga. When niggas took out his hands to shake him, niggas passed it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, niggas didn't want to embrace Fokker. Niggas don't want to embrace him And I got to see that And that's why I have so much respect for him Because I saw what he went through When he was trying to show people love And he didn't get the love back He got on his big dog shit And he's got like, look, at, look where he is today Gone crazy Gone That's Gone why I keep crazy. telling you Life is long You're going to think you're hot forever yeah. Watch out Watch out <laughs> Watch out I hear you How do you want to wrap this up? Let's wrap it up It's like a two hour thing, right? Damn Damn Three. Ah. Can we chop it up to an hour? Ew. You went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up, nigga. Nigga, I feel like what I said already when I spoke. When we clapped for you? Yeah. When you were, yeah, when you I hit feel the... like that was the rap yeah. for me. Like, so basically, but by saying that, I'm saying if you didn't catch where I wrapped it up, you can rewind. Yeah. And play that moment. Yeah. Because there's nothing more genuine that I could say than that moment right there yeah, when I said Yeah, because then you have to come up with some fuck shit. Yeah, and I'm about to do that. I, I keep it solid. <laughs> the real one. Yeah. So a toast, maybe? Yeah, with the... With to, the yeah, yeah not me to I the warm water. Because now... I don't even have the respect of standing up, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Nah, I'm big homie. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, you are shit. Hell yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout yeah, out. Yeah, get up off your seat. Watch out. <laughs> You are older than me. I'm whiling. Sorry. Watch out. Yeah. Sorry though. I'm a Shout out to you, guy. man. I think uh, the, you guys. Is, I I decided to do this because I feel like you guys as fans really wanna. You have you guys have people who are invested in this story that really wanted to hear it. So I was like, okay, if my platform is being said to be the platform that is the best one to facilitate this type of shit, then. Hey, y'all can go ahead and go crazy. I feel you, and I, and I appreciate you for that. I just hope that, because we're grown right now, I just hope that one day, like, niggas could be civilized. Yeah. Yeah, and we like, hope for that like type the best, of you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For everybody to sort out their differences, and for everybody to, like, be able to live off of the <laughs> sacrifices they made as TWC yeah. for the long run, for their legacy, and for them as individuals. Yeah. Yeah, I just hope for that. That's fire. And I think the best way for me to close this episode is by saying the views expressed on this show are not that of Buddha tea or chappiness <laughs> <laughs> or profits. <laughs> Throw me in a debate alone. I'm used to it. <laughs> Ex global, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> chappiness. Thank you. Shoo. <laughs> Hi, nigga. <laughs> the crazy part.